Whoa, 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 whoa. Five seconds early, but the music lined up perfectly. Oh yeah, yeah, I was just eating, eating my, 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 my cheese sandwich over here. Can't even finish it because apparently the music cued me, man. Anyways, welcome back, everybody. Hope you're having a nice Saturday so far. That was uh, one of the weirdest things I've ever said on stream. I did misspeak at the end of yesterday's stream. Yeah. Enter StarCraft 2 and signs trap. Okay, cool. All these eSport World Cup signs. Raiders, Raiders, but it's Warcraft 3 Raiders. <laughs> Is this uh, some, some StarCraft Warcraft kid bashing going on over here? Very nice. Early to bed, early to rise. Dang, you already are awake, Marine King? It's only 11. I don't know if I can we get to. It's dangerous. Discord links are always cursed. Nathanius is back? What do you mean? Nathanius left? What do people mean with Nathanius back? He's never gone anywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what game this is. But this is a StarCraft miniatures game? Yeah. A loco AI chatbot? I don't want to log in, dude. Did it hurt when you fell from the battle bus? Riz me up, Protoss? I think I've seen enough. I think I've seen enough already. I think that's all we need to see. As far as that loco AI chatbot. A loco... Yeah. Loco AI chatbot? A loco AI chatbot? I don't want to log in, dude. Did it hurt when you fell from the battle bus? Riz me up, Protoss? I think I've seen enough. I think I've seen enough already. I think that that's all we need to see, as far as that loco AI chatbot goes. That is how I talk, by the way. Yeah, I do talk about battle buses and raising a lot. Absolutely. I don't know, the whole AI thing's always kind of creeped me out a bit. I've had a... I don't know, the whole, the whole AI thing's always kind of creeped me out a bit. I've had a bunch of people make loco-related AIs, and while it's kind of fun, it's also a little creepy, you know, because like some of them really do sound like me and you can make them say whatever. Which is, you know, definitely gonna be some drama. There's definitely gonna be some drama over the next couple years. About AI bots saying something that streamers have allegedly said, but streamers never actually did say, but there's no way to prove that you didn't. It's weird, man. It's gonna blur some lines for sure. Yeah, you, you could have that voice, call my grandma, and ask for money, and my grandma might believe you. Now, I've told my grandma that I'm not gonna be calling her and asking for money, but... <laughs> you know, these are like... You could literally have... Uh, this will be perfect, Lopo, you can say... Streaming, you say... Well, I don't really try to say dumb shit very frequently. I really try to say dumb shit. I dumb very frequently, right? I do say dumb stuff every once in a while, but I don't know. Hey, Hash Avenue. I don't know. Hey, hey Hash. Yeah, imagine if AI Loco says something terrible, like I. I don't know. Yeah, imagine if AI Loco says something terrible, like I enjoy League of Legends. Oh my god, that would be terrible. Yeah, terrible. There's some messed up things a person can say, and that is definitely at the top of that pyramid. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. Very sensitive mods. I just got timed out for saying this. It's not that bad, is it? Is that bad? He looks... F it's not that bad, is it? What does it mean? I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm gonna... He looks fat. I just got timed out for saying this. It's not that bad, is it? Is it? What does that word mean? I don't know what that word means. Is that bad? 
He looks extra. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it. He looks fat, untidy, and dirty. Excessively casual. That's apparently what that word means. All right. Yo, Jayun. See you enjoying a little bit of StarCraft. Uh, I just went live because the Dallas tournament is what the loco chatbot sounds like. Here's what the loco chatbot sounds like. Hey Darth, which Protoss unit would be the loco chatbot sounds like? Hey Darth, which Protoss unit would be your significant other? <laughs> no, no. No, that does not sound really like me. I can I can kind of see the the yeah, no. I can kind of hear it a little bit, but that thing has a, a th thicker Dutch accent than me. <laughs> the StarCraft 2 bet or the StarCraft 2 subreddit is not really very active. It sounds more like Dialan. Well, everybody has got a bit of a different accent, right? Maybe that's the real loco TV, dude. Maybe this has been the AI all along. What if I have been an advanced artificial intelligence this entire time, dude? Have you considered that? This has all been a social experiment. How long would it take before viewers realize? How much money would be donated? How many shoe on head? I don't even have legs. I have shoes. I'm a floating Morning. torso. Thank you very much, T for Look at what the stupid balance team did. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Look at what the stupid balance team did to the mech players accent than me look at what the stupid balance team did to the mech players last year they said they finally want to see more mech games in the pro so they enhanced cyclone and then on march they changed it back because they think it's too much in the game the widow mine have been fine in letter for over four years and now suddenly they said it becomes too much damage to their beloved protos players I've been playing mech for almost 10 years, not only because I love SC1 and SC2 Terran mech force, but also I am old. My APM can no longer rival my young age level, especially when I'm tired from work and just want to have fun. Yeah, let's not have fun. Yeah, let's not pretend like you've, you used to be quick. Okay. I will agree that there is going to be a little bit of degradation in in-game speed and APM. But there's a lot of players out there like, no, I know. I am now of the ripe old age of 34, and I am unable to hit the keyboard as quickly as I used to when I was 21. I think you've always been slow, man. I think you've always been pretty slow. Let's be real here for a second. There are some guitar players out there that are doing the craziest solos well into their fucking 80s, man. Well into their fucking 80s. to their 80s man there's no way now unless you have some sort of like you know if you have a condition fair different but whenever i see people making that excuse i used to be quick but now no longer i don't know man i'm not i'm not convinced that that is that that is the case 80 percent of terran army are mech yuntis and any combination of mech units can make the tactic and the game much more diversified and wonderful. But nowadays, you rarely see any mech player in ladder, especially when you are masters or above. This inexplicable hatred from balance team to mech player confused me for 10 years. So I really don't see too much mech games in the pro. Instead, I have been or I have seen the boring MMM, the Marine Marauder Medivac army for 10 years, and I still cannot learn anything from their micro talent. Oh my god, it keeps going. I, I think I may quit StarCraft 2 in several weeks if mech is still suck like this. Because I am just desperately disappointed. I casted a uh, Terran vs Zerk yesterday between Cure and Rogue. Now, I don't want to spoil my own stuff all too much. But um, let's just say that Cure absolutely murdered Rogue. Yeah, that's a bit of a spoiler. But it wasn't even close. And he played 8, eight Factory, 4 Command Center... Full Terran mech right from the start. Yeah. He's not happy. He has no, there's no profile. Normally there's a button to go to the man's profile, but apparently either he has... There's no profile. Normally there's a button to go to the man's profile, but apparently 
Either he has no games logged, or he's hidden the profile button. Hmm. The thing is, Darren Mech is not played very frequently at the pro level, but it is still played. It is viable at every level below the tippity top. So, like, unless this guy, Eddie So, is one of the top 25 players in the world, I think he can play Terran Mech. Yeah, I don't think some of the Widow My nerfs were really needed. I do think some of it could certainly be set with some nuance, but like... People are being overly dramatic, right? Like, this is one of those... But like, people are being overly dramatic, right? Like, this is one of those... those classic things you see for many, many years and everything. I think I may quit StarCraft 2 in several weeks if mechs still suck like this. I think what happened is he lost the game against somebody who was much faster than him. And then he got very angry and he wrote this essay. That's probably what happened. What a joke from a Zerg player's comment. How many Grandmaster mech player with only 100 APM do you see on the ladder? Bro, there's like no one in Grandmaster League with only 100 APM though. <laughs> Like, there may be a handful, and they're probably all Terran mech players, but it's not really, uh, it's not really a thing that gets played that much in the first place, man. They exist, yeah. But 100 APM is not considered, but one, yeah. but 100 APM is not considered very fast. Not in Grandmaster League, anyways. Yeah, Goody still plays, it's actually fun. The Panzer General used to be a German pro gamer about a decade ago. Zerk is the easiest race ever. Everyone knows that. There's actually not that many Zerks right now in Grandmaster League. So there's a little bit of... Uh, I've got a feeling this, this is a bit of an emotional post. So there's a little bit of... Uh, I've got a feeling this, this is a bit of an emotional post, chat. Rather than one where we're discussing facts. A bit dishonest. Yeah. What did Artosis call that again? What did Artosis call that again? Intellectually dishonest, that's it, yes. I have played 46 out of 6, at least some of you need to- Just because Protoss is extremely overpowered at all levels, except the top 10 players, doesn't mean you need to go on a ladder and troll everyone with the easy- I'm always noticing a bit of a theme on- There's always a lot of complaining about Zerk being- Like this, I think. I don't know why Zerk needs a buff. Way. I believe EMP is going on. I think so too. <laughs> What's up, Selderick? I attributed a Eva. A of this year. Also, I love him. We're looking at Max Faxes. Yes. 15 probes killed is actually amazing. Can we pick up the cyclone? The cyclone. Okay. Do it, I guess. But speed boost or something like that. each race. What do you think? You see a move? Hey, ever since you came back. Oh, oh, this is the B stream. Ah. Uh, we don't really know when they're gonna be sending those out, but usually ESL is pretty on Has a tournament wrapping up, so this would be a good opportunity for that little... Uh, a deficit instead of the... Bump! This was ugly. loaded in. Clem could sometimes beat Serral? Oh my god, okay, well, I'm... Clem is, um... <laughs> what the heck is this? What? <laughs> Clem could sometimes beat Serral? Yeah. Clem is, um... Yes. Clem could sometimes... Yes. Clem could sometimes beat Serral? Yeah. Clem is, um... <laughs> what the heck is this? What? <laughs> oh, come on. They're letting the pro gamers play this shit? Play this shit? Oh my god, okay, well, I'm gonna watch this segment. You wear it? You love it. Hello guys. Uh, 
Mm. How did you do it? It's so stupid. Oh, okay. Noted. Thank you, Nolan. I will write it down. Did you just fucking cheat? Did you just fucking cheat? Oh, okay. Note it. I'll write it down. Thank you, Nolan. I will write it down. Did you just cheat? I will write it down. Thank you, Nolan. I will write it down. Okay. Note it. Thank you, Nolan. I will write it down. Did you just cheat? Did Olivera just grab one of the fish? Oh, rain or nice game three. <laughs> Why can't my fish get up? Dude, this goes on for ages, man. <laughs> it just keeps going. Are they finishing the whole game? They're not even fighting over the last one. Nice, living up to his username there. Okay, so I'm so gonna... I'm base team. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, no need to count, I win. Protoss players have better micro than Terrans, confirmed. Ah, this looks like a really fun tournament, man. And Terrans, confirmed. Definitely looks like a bit of a bad the fuck did you just come back to? No worries. You miss all of the greatest content in the world. Pro gamers playing. Oh, oh, we have another one. We have another one. Another banger. What the fuck did you just come back to? What the fuck did you just come back to? No worries, man. What the fuck? What the fuck did you? What the f did you just come back to? No worries, memory. You miss all of the greatest content in the world. Pro gamers playing. Oh, oh, we have another one. We have another one. Another banger. Oh, this is another one. The two best North American pro. Let's see. Prepare your craigasms. Hey, I'm Trigger, and I'm from Canada, and we're gonna play. Make your move, noob. He's from California. This game is very similar to StarCraft in the sense that there is strategy involved. I just... <laughs> that was low. <laughs> uh, overrated. That's true. Just like you and StarCraft. Thinking is uh, overrated. That's true. Just like you and StarCraft. Wow. Okay, I thought we were keeping the trash talk mild, but uh... It is pretty mild. Okay, I mean, it's, it's fair, it's fair. Yeah. I feel like Trigger, given a couple more years, Once is gonna be in a top tier jokester. Yeah, I already have three, what are you gonna do? Trigger, given a couple more... I don't, I think we're following a pattern here. <laughs> no, I think you should have. Why did you break the pattern? I have not played this game since I was like four. Hmm... He actually didn't. Game is once you just don't auto so I, I can't go pro game. in this game, this is too hard. What a game. This is too hard. I did use some of the segments as shots that they didn't line. actually. <laughs> Are we speed running this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and finish already here. Wait. Sorry. You miss this is another one. Another bag. Pro gamers playing. Oh, oh, we have another one. You miss no worries, memory. You miss all of the greatest content in the world. What a that find all of the secrets? Sometimes. Actually, I still secretly watch it. From ah, because I. Uh... Did you know that? You Okay, maybe I need to run around right now and just hit- Nope, no, not, not this way, not the local- Nope, 
You gotta jump. Maybe I'll just use the. Maybe I need to run around right now. Okay. And me. For 10 times 5 more. A lot more. Just 5 more minutes moment. No. <laughs> no. I think I'm done. Oh no, there's one more thing I want to do. Fuck. This is the perpetual just five. Very fun though, guys. Spawns. Yeah, I made it eat its own tail with respawns. Was the yeah? Was the door or actually the sound of it? Re <laughs> that works. I don't know if I want to be here, but it works. Slightly sweating. Just a little bit of sweat. <laughs> no, don't fucking die. No, don't fu fucking die. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm done. I think I'm finished with it. Very fun though, guys. What do you think I want to do? Fuck. This is the perpetual just... What do want to do? This is the perpetual just five more minutes. There's there's a lot more just five more minutes moments. I want to go to the bunny and activate the remote. I don't remember where the bunny is. Um, I think I do. You gotta jump. You gotta jump there. And activate the remote. Okay. We activate the remote control apparently, and we get a control panel. Oh my god, I can flip the different things. What do you want me to do? I can draw a wiener on the. I don't know what the point of this is. What's the point of drawing wieners, guys? I think I'm gonna watch that video. Yeah. Help us solve the animal well bunny mural. Sure there. Yeah. But what is it? What? Dude, I never see where I'm supposed to. Dude, I never. Guess. What? What? Dude, I never. What? Dude, I never see where I'm supposed to use the tile. That is basically tile to me. Wow. Okay. So there are 50 unique puzzle pieces. And obviously we need all 50. Wow. Okay. So there are 50 unique puzzles to solved. That's all. Puzzle? As in like... Right. For now. It's a community puzzle? As in like... Everybody gets their own 4x4? Four and you have to figure out what the full screen looks like. What does the full screen look like? This was posted three weeks ago. I'm assuming this guy posted an update video. That is pretty sick. After you free the four flames and click and together. Tech you free the four at least 50 people working together. Tech Raptor spearheaded the What does the full screen looks like? And like every Look at least it's pretty sick. Look at least fifty pick. Look at least fifty people. So, if you are, for example, zero mancer, right? How the fuck are you ever? How the fuck are? are you ever gonna figure out it's just a it's just blue mine is also mostly blue i would have never thought about this being like a community jigsaw puzzle that makes no sense from beginning of the game that the game does this way there's your warning even without actually noticing window around i did do that you also manipulate the physics of the environment like that why does he have 10 times as much hits points as me 
and shake that window around. I did do that. You all did that. Why does he have 10 times as much hit points as me? So close to the beginning of the jungle, right here on the map. Once you have this door open, leave them out on the flute. You suddenly teleport to a small chamber with the next bunny. <laughs> and if you press this button, yes, yes. I think that. it's for drawing we dicks the on the maps to mark for something else, right? It can't just be. For I think that. it's for drawing we dicks the on the maps to mark the map. That's got to be it, no? Pencil. Oh. Yeah, you connect the dots, of course, in a game filled with so many... Sorry, what? Glowy sorry, what? I'm in a world with the UV lamp? I'm sorry, what? ...particles in certain spots. <laughs> These can be but in my experience... Spots, my experience Marco, how, yeah, how did you not figure this out? I know, guys. Embarrassing, I didn't figure this out. I like, by the way, how there's clips in this in this video of him playing 75 hours, and now there's a clip of him playing at the 39 hour mark again. So this guy's been fucking wandering around. So this guy's been fucking. This guy's been fucking. fucking in certain we find them in the large oh my the drawing dicks the on the map cool five hours and now there's a clip of him playing at the 39 hour mark again so this guy's been wandering around for like <laughs> like 35 of this uv light and then like one eight which should be 10 times yeah, louder than that it is, song dude. What's the Hiding point of right the secret bunnies, guys? Damp, Does anybody understand the point of the secret bun? I don't, like, it's not that I don't like bunnies. Don't get me wrong. Yes. Towards the end of the end game area. Okay, I'm gonna fast Naturally, forward a little bit. He's controlling that thing. And then of left trolling. Left. Left. He's playing a different game than me. Look at the origami bunny. Yeah, right. after this. Up again. So dumb. Up. That's an insane secret, dude. Up again. How do the community... And how how do again. people figure this out within a month of the game's release? Right. Oh, it's Easter right eggs again. and Easter bunny? Do you reckon that's the, that's the pun? Right. Yeah, this is way past fun for me. Absolutely. Up. But I understand that there's people out there that like up again. absolutely and love up digging up more. all the yeah, Left. Digging up more. all the secrets. Yeah. It's not really me. But yeah, puzzle people are very puzzled. Down. Look at this. But as a game developer, do you wonder Left. if at some point you put in too much? Like there's got to be some shit that's up. like not found. Like, there's got to be some shit. There's got to be some some shit that's oh. like not found right and that may have never right right again this is one of those very right vague more very obscure puzzles so you need to look at the ears of the bunnies because supposedly it gives you an indication oh. Ominous music. I love playing. no. I love the idea of adding stuff for like one percent of the player base. But this is not one percent of the player base. <laughs> There's probably one person. Okay, maybe five people. Maybe after watching this video, there were a couple more. But like. When this video <laughs> got released, there's probably like two dudes that figured this out. But this guy probably had like, you know, the most beautiful climax when he figured this out. Like he... Yeah, no, I, I, I'm glad I'm not in the room when this guy figured this out. Let me, let me put it like that. Yeah, yeah it was nasty. Gotta clean his monitor. It's a, it's a bit of a disaster. Why, hello there. Oh. Wouldn't it be funny if it just ended right there? Deletes your save. <laughs> so we're gonna travel through the digestive tract of this gigantic bunny. And then, with a... We pop out the other side. But wait. Something feels different. And as I walk slowly to the precipice, 
It's then that I notice my blue eyes. Jumping into the air, I sprout wings. You gain the ability to transform into a moth and fly infinitely at high speed when you double jump. And it allows you to explore this world so much faster. Another forged. Okay. I have a Discord server. Also All right. Well, let the sound. Origami. Somebody said origami is the insane one. Where do I find the origami bunny? Which one is origami bunny? I don't see. No, he earned that sellout. One hundred percent. This guy did like. And the off. This guy did like. Yeah, exactly. He did seven years of puzzling and within the release of the game, like the first month. Egg code and the office? And now we have what has already been looking at it with the UV lamp. I look. Look at them as if. Look, I like video games. <laughs> Actually, I would say I love video games. I have been playing video games for a very long time. But this, this, this is. This I would never figure out. I would never figure this out. This could be binary. It could be many things. My, like this, this guy probably understands the movie Inception. This guy probably watched Inception the first time and he's around and he's like, yeah, no, but what was the problem? I mean, it makes perfect sense. It's a dream within a dream with, yeah, of course. They're binary. For example, on the bottom it line. It is binary. So that would be two you know, set up left. So this guy, However, like you have to in binary read this and then play 64 notes. Why would, why would the empty eggs be diagonally upright? It could be any of the other five notes. The little trick. The upside down egg. Yeah, you actually have to- 1000 is eight in binary? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Triple, z yeah, triple zero is okay. See, <sighs> flip that's that around. That's very clever, but that's the kind of shit I don't pick up. But that's the kind of shit I don't. I don't. Shit, I don't. Shit, I don't. Shit. I don't pick up on immediately. So instead of an upper line and a middle line, you have a on you. I think it's actually so cool to put in shit like this. Thinking it over, actually so cool to put in shit like, put in shit like, shit like, shit like. Like this, thinking it over a little bit more. The game developer clearly made, you know, like 99% of the game pretty accessible, right? Or maybe not 99, but 99% of the game. People, like the vast majority of people probably unsubscribe or like, you know, uninstall whenever they're finished, right? They defeat the final boss. But to like continue adding more shit out there and to... But to like continue adding more shit... Shit out... Shit out... there and... there and to watch the entire video game community come together and solve your game it's actually really cool yeah unsubscribe uninstall whatever as you play that last note the wall what the right ah uh, that is where this previous puzzle index, was at directory zero oh there's more oh sorry and solve the puzzle it sends a print structure to your printer Is that allowed in the beautiful country of Europe? Chat? I am fairly sure your software is not allowed to print shit without me giving explicit permission. For that. Have my but anyways. Use guides going forward. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Mickey. Yeah, no, that is, that is insane. Oh my god. What if you don't have a printer? Well, I mean, if you don't have a printer, 
those notes off. Uh, I have a printer, but I think my default printer is a printer I haven't used in about a decade because it's dead and I don't even have the printer anymore, but I never changed the default printer. You unlock the origami <laughs> figure as well as an origami bunny jumping out of the computer screen. Oh my God. But that's wait, amazing. I or you just don't have a printer, you can solve that puzzle right here, which is right here on the map, by the way. See, I'm taking care of you. You might be able to even do this straight from my video, but that grass, you can scan that grass as a barcode. And then that barcode gives you the same notes that you got from the origami playing that song here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, of course. It's opens a... the floor beneath you. Revealing the chamber with a chest in it with the Mama Cha figurine. So you're going to want to do this anyway, even if you did already get the bunny from the origami. And then this is where the bunny will be if you didn't already get it in the office. And then here's a URL. Yeah. And then do with that. But if not, you get a... Do you think getting laid is more satisfying than figuring out these Easter eggs, Fabula? No, 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 no. I don't have that bubble. Now, take a deep breath, got to way up here. Now, take a deep breath. If you time it and you have to time this on the way back as well. You're going to jump directly onto your disc. As you can see, you're going to have to do it twice in a row. And congratulations. That was the final bunny. What happens now? All right. Okay. I want to. He uploaded another video. Ultimate secret ending of Animal Well. Massive endgame spoiler. That's okay. After dude. first finding of the out of the box, you sleep well. Spectacular denizens of the well. And it all we keeping some sure. stuff. Yeah, that's that right. just let's, let's just speak. pretend that I'm gonna play until this point. Sure. You guys, you guys you all be... made it to this point too, right? You've sung all the songs. All right, you got. Yeah, now, now that I know that you guys have bunnies, did the whole code. Yeah, now that I know that you guys have. Yeah, okay, perfect. Inside of this Tamagotchi pedometer, <laughs> when your step count. Of is... course, there's a. T <laughs> right, there's a. All right, remember, remember when you first got to the Tamagotchi? Remember, remember that point? Right. Below 100. Yeah. So the way to do uh, this I is remember. actually when your step count reaches 100,000, it actually rolls back over to zero afterwards. Oh. So when your step count is getting Just like my car. Wait, no, no sure joke. Get up joke. here and get inside this thing so that you can And there it is. That's illegal, Chet. Don't there roll back go. your fucking car. This footage comes from my stream because you can actually only ever see this one once. So that little guy right there, Mr. Purple or whatever you want to call him, there are statues of it all around after you free all of the lynx kittens so, the mama so is this all going to culminate to like something is it like <laughs> so so random but what if i which is this does require at least 30 and now we have access to the wheel <laughs> you don't have enough to free the third and it gives you the third message. code oh shit if you don't okay. mind drawing oh shit Message. Code. Oh, shit. You don't okay. mind drawing warping, then they're just the bubble wand and the net one foot one. Right, which yeah, is this no, obviously. Right here. You want to make sure the bubble looks like it. Now, for this one, I like next how it just one, explained it, and I still don't gore. understand. Hey, that's a barcode, by the way. Did you guys know that? Sorry, sorry, what? A lot more complicated because we have to catch. Sorry, sorry, what? So the previous one was follow this 69 step procedure, and this one is gonna get complicated? What do you mean? Five squirrels in one run. I'm gonna show you a full walkthrough right now of the five. You better two, by the way, because otherwise. Five yeah, you better I be caught. recording two, by the way, because otherwise you missed it. Now you have to replay the entire game because it only shows you that freaking Unicode once for like two seconds. Based on Discord user Flans and originally The weirdest thing about this game, Dynamite, he asks, can we interview the creators? This game is made by one guy. One dude. To get this Unicode. And anyway, you gotta make sure. 
sure you start from a fresh save because those Music squirrels everything. will not respawn once you scare them away. The first one we're gonna go. It only to took go one psychopath. First in order to flip this, <laughs> unfortunately, a couple of these person. squirrels. Uh, controller <laughs> analog stick allows the you to Dexter. just very gently the Dexter tilt of game in order developed. to ever so my path here. On the other end, there you go. <laughs> Once you get past this bird, just continue past the room over here. Oh, I wanted to go over here. Yes. Okay, let's go to the final part of the squirrel. It's way right. better when they now, collect the nuts slowly. You well, difficult. you gotta go on the on the bubble card guy. Nick, but, but you gotta you gotta spam the button though, because you don't want to miss like, the nut. Well, I hope that explains it. In order to better. collect the sixth Unicode message, you have to speed run the game. You have to get the leave the well ending in under an hour, <gasps> which is pretty difficult. But keep in mind, you only need 32 eggs to do this work here. Oh, only, and only, any okay. So you only need to do the okay, right? You only need to do what I did in about 11 hours. Is including. Okay. G G. Right, right, right. We figured that Unicode one out. I don't know what Groundhog Day is. Is this an American you. thing? So if you just this is an American heart, moment. You all damage. So make sure you start this. Eight different Unicode messages can be. Location. I think if you give me a hundred years, right, a hundred years, I would not figure any of this shit out. I'm not even. I would not figure any of this shit out. Any of this shit out. I'm not even joking. If I didn't have internet and a hundred years of my time, and I only played this, you would absolutely blow my mind. I I would be at the age of 131. You would show me some of this shit, and I'm like, what? That makes no sense. What? This shit, and I'm like, what? show me some of this shit. And I'm like, what? That Why right here, of course. Now, So at first you have Down. to become the moth. And then from Left. the moth, you, you, uh, okay. Up, okay. Down, and left. We can dig through with the top. Get it? Topsoil? Okay. <laughs> anyway, digging to the bottom reveals a time capsule. I'm going to show you this entire thing right now without editing and without talking from beginning to end. And then after that will be a little bit of an outro with a few theories. So if you would like to see what's inside the time capsule for yourself, please stop the video now or skip Bro, to the next chapter. I'm not going to do any anyway, of this shit. Let's do this. <laughs> what do you mean? Do any anyway. of this shit. Hey. Shit. Let's do this. <laughs> what do you mean? Would take me a year. <laughs> the date is March 12th, 2024. This is Billy Basso, the developer of the game you're playing. I'm recording this as one of the last things I do before submitting for certification. If you're hearing this, that means that you just solved a set of puzzles that I honestly think I'm pretty good at. The developer, the developer congratulates you. <laughs> well, my mom never said to me, at least Billy did it. This is Dan Aiden. So if you're listening to this, I've been trapped inside of oh. The developers thought that this was actually going to take years and years and years to solve. And they did it in a month? You're almost disappointed at that point, dude. Like, you want it to be solved, but at the same time, you don't really want it to be solved. You know what I mean? You want this to be solved after like eight years where somebody's like, wait a second, hold up right now. <sighs> so, video game donkey, I think he... He owns the publishing company for this particular game, if I'm not mistaken. So, that's why he's in it. Some nice messages from the people involved. A final thing. The has over 
here with your cinema. I hope that it does not. Mate, I do hope they sent you a dozen copies. I will definitely subscribe. I'll keep an eye out and see if there's anything else. Honestly, really cool. Um, I realize I don't even touch the servers of the game. I didn't even touch the servers. Insanely cool. I um, I was pretty happy with my playthrough. I think I did overall pretty well. Uh, but it turns out there is uh, a little bit more to it than at first glance. <sighs> so much work, man. Yeah, so supposedly it's one developer who worked on this for seven years. I, uh, yeah, I love that games like this are being made. Like, he didn't need to do, do all of this. Like, he probably spent months just putting in Easter eggs that may never be found, right? Like, there may be multiple layers still. The fact that there's actually, yeah, that much effort and that much love put into a game is really cool to me. Um, especially in a time where we have a lot of AAA developers that just try to launch game after game after game and microtransaction after fucking microtransaction, microtransaction after fucking. Microtransaction and everything. Like, I have nothing against that in particular, but this is more like a. Like a labor of love, right? Like a, like a, like an actual art piece. Whereas some of these others are just very much so commercial. Anyways, honestly, great game. Highly recommend it. Um, yeah. I have 13.4 hours of play recommended. I think there's about another 100 if you want. I'm gonna be uninstalling it if you want to, but Very fun. I'm gonna be uninstalling it. It is a whopping 30-something megabytes. So if I ever want to reinstall it, I think... I think I can do it. Yeah, I will, uh, I will let you guys know if the guy uploads another... Pushing without a... Let him get there. But I used to do a two-bit... Flash! I think of Heli... Help? I should use the keyboard. <laughs> Play Zork at all? I want to learn Zork. You can catch my streams on Twitch. Fair warning, though, I don't use the keyboard. <laughs> yeah. I've got a feeling, even though in Twitch chat, a very large percentage of the viewers is an engineer. Shift clicking Yamato because I want to improve my game. You are already on. Wait, there's a hotkey called a Rabbit Fire. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. Yeah, when he says battle cross, uh, what did I say? What the fuck? What are you talking about? <laughs> you can kill mass carrier with Muta by doing this and just destroying their payloads with splash. <laughs> what are you talking about? That wasn't that bad. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, fair. L yeah, sure, sure, a little bit. Now that reduces damage. Apparently, it's against everybody. This guy's fucking stutter stepping. No mass carrier with Muta by doing this and just destroy with Mutalisk? Or, or okay. the interceptors, but I don't know how well. What the fuck? What are you? I don't think he even got. Apparently, infestors have some sort of air defense ability now that reduces damage taken by 50%. I don't think he even got trolled, man. Apparently, infestors have some sort of air defense. I don't think. Now, personally, I can mass muta and kite the inter. Oh no. Bro, he's asking about target fire, don't you? Against somebody who opens. <laughs> Triple Oracle is just the early game now. Oh, he's asking about how are we dealing with this now? Do you just roach? Both went sky. Back into 1v1 after like a decade. How to deal with titles? I was very old and it was well back. I was a titles player. How are we dealing with this now? Do you just roach Ravager Rush and host against the? He's asking about when he talks about titles. He he means like one titles unit. So like maybe you know or like a triple oracle. No, I think he's asking a reasonable question. <laughs> I love the advice. 
Spice. 15 drone, then overlord, then spawning pool, make links, skip gas. Who hearted at this? Who gave a little heart? This guy is suggesting a slow zirkling all-in. Against somebody who opens skytals. That is... Target fire, don't just spray your attacks. Mute us on the other... Target fire, don't just spray your attacks. Bro, he's asking about skytals. <laughs> don't play mute us against skytals, guys. If you went mass mute us in the first place, you'd already been banging upgrades for air. No. Oh no. I appreciate the constructive response, guys. I'll be trying them out on the ladder. Apparently, infestors have some sort of air defense ability now that reduces damage taken by 50%. I don't think he even got trolled, man. Now, personally, I can mass muta and kite the intercept. What do you tell your skills at stutter are? What the fuck? What the f fuck? What are you talking about? You can kill Mass Carrier with Muta by doing this and just destroying their payloads with Splash. This guy's fucking stutter. This guy's fucking. What the f? What are you talking about? You can kill Mass Carrier with Muta by doing this and just destroying their payloads with Splash. This guy's stutter stepping against interceptors with Mutalisk. And that's what he's suggesting against everybody. Or, or, okay. Did I just turn Irish? <laughs> what did I say? This is bad, dude. This is my, my stress. <laughs> hey! My stress. <laughs> what did I say? More like Scottish? <laughs> I don't remember what I said. I'm trying to retrace my words. It's the mu music, man. Interest you on a pint? Safe travels. Be good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Best way to use your Yamato, and they only auto attack and die quick. Okay, I'm gonna... Irish Loco? What the f I think? But that one's Irish Loco? What the fuck did I say? Irish Loco? What the fuck? Fuck the did I say? What? Okay, I'm gonna... What did I say? What the fuck? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> you can kill Mass Carrier with Muta by supply. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? That wasn't that bad. What are you talking about? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fair, fair. I'll give you that one. L yeah, sure, sure. A little bit. So high, I. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you fucking what, mate? <laughs> Wait, there's a hotkey called a rabbit fire. Oh my god. Oh my lord. He keeps going. When you are already auto attacking from an A move in Yamato, when I achieve a bunch of engineers on the forums, is I still made a video about the Battle.net forums? Remember, remember a couple years ago when the Battle.net forum guys came after me because I made a video about the Battle.net forums? Like, I made a video about the Battle.net forums, and I, I responded to a bunch of the threats, and then somebody made a threat linking the video. And all of the Battle.net forum guys made fun of me. Yeah, like, 
I was mocking the Battle.net forum posters, and then I made a video about that, and I uploaded that to the channel, and then the Battle.net forum posters were mocking my video, and then I was mocking the Battle.net- It was, yeah, there was like a- They called me Bloco! Yes! That was it! One of the guys started calling me Bloco, and then they all started calling me Bloco. <laughs> it was great! Then, and then, for a little while, somebody made an account on the Battle.net forums named Loco, and he ran the same portrait that I usually use in-game, and he started commenting on Battle.net forum posts as if he was me. Yeah, just straight up impersonation. Yeah, this is the most beef I've ever had in the- I still don't agree with this. <sighs> I do like the Battle.net forums. I do like the Battle.net forums. I do like the Battle.net forums. Remember, remember a couple years ago when the Battle.net forums Guy. Like, I made a video about the Battle.net forums, and I, I responded to a bunch of the threats, and then some, somebody made that. Like, I was mocking the Battle.net forum posters, and then I, I made a video about that, and I uploaded me Bloco. It was great! And then, and, and then, for a little while, somebody made an account on the Battle.net forums named Lost, as if he was me. Yeah, just straight up impersonation. Yeah, this is the most beef I've ever had in the yeah in StarCraft 2, man. Yeah, this is the most beef I've ever had in the yeah in StarCraft 2, man. I I I don't even I don't even see those guys anymore though. I don't really recognize these names. Dear Balance Council, some SOS suggestions. Colossi sucks. Zealot sucks. Stalker sucks. I, I want to figure it out, boys. Here is why. Okay. Dystopia has figured it out, boys. Colossi sucks. Zealot sucks. Stalker sucks. I want to see an immortal cost reduce observatory. Queens, some less than care. My concrete suggestion and plus two damage. Helps in main engages. Yeah, yeah, that would help a lot. Plus new styles more viable, like Phonix. Would happen if you do this? Every game would be a Zealot online. Yeah, every game would just be a Zealot. This guy is very right though. Colossi, plus one range and more damage overall versus... Pergananant? Versus... <laughs> These are French Marauders, I think. Marauder. Marauder. The Marauder. Plus one range and overall more damage versus Marauder. More con Consistent damage, more micro potential, fight goes long for fights, again, more micro opportunities. More power for Blink Stalkers versus Bio Armies. So Blink upgrade plus 5 HP. Mate, are you losing your mind right now? Plus 5 health when you research the Blink upgrade. <laughs> we only ever see my Stalker, man. More power for Blink Army versus Bio or Ling Hydra. A lurker army over less health. You know what I think would be the easiest buff you can give pro? I think you should make the fleet beacon cheaper. I've been thinking about the fleet beacon cost. Fleet beacon's way too fucking expensive. Fleet beacon's way too, too fucking 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 expensive. 300, 200 is way too much. Like, if we want to give actual buffs, that transition from a ground-based army to a late-game Protoss army with Skytools is so fucking weird. Skytools is so fucking weird. So awkward. Tempest also kind of suck. You gotta be a little delicate about it, but I think you can probably make it, like cheaper 200 200 no i think it could probably be like 200 150 or so but like at least cheap like 300 200 is insane man it's so expensive that seems like a bit of a no-brainer buff to me but anyways i think 300 200 is the most expensive thing in the game how much is a uh, fusion core how much is a fusion? <laughs> nobody knows it's 150, 150. Why the fuck is a 
Is a fleet beacon 300 200 and a fusion core 150 150 actually insane i think greater spire is fine maybe, maybe it's how much is the greater spire okay 100 minerals and 150 gas but that's on top of the spire obviously yeah so 300 350 together the thing about like the fusion core is that you make it to upgrade units that you can make without the fusion core, right? Whereas for like the fleet beacon, you need to make the structure before you can make the units, which is really awkward. Like if you want to do like the, the e I think the easiest no brainer buff is to make the f fleet beacon cheaper. I think you can make it like 200, 200, maybe even 200, 150. I think it'd be a kind of a, yeah, Battle Cruisers needs a fusion core, but like nobody plays Battle Cruisers. Fusion core is actually really cheap. Why is the fusion core so much che cheaper than a fleet beacon? Actually, kind of wild. Yeah, maybe because they need a tech lab. Maybe you don't really need a tech lab anymore, though, no? no, because like. Advanced Ballistics is over here, and Caduceus Reactor is over here, too. Yeah, maybe it's because the Battle Cruiser is kind of shit. I think Skytols against Zerk is actually not... Caduceus Reactor against Zerk is actually not that good, Barnacle. Now that I'm not really playing much letter my myself, I think at the pro level, at least, Skytols against Zerk is not that good. It's not the way to go anymore, no. I think Skytols against Terran is even worse. Like, the, the weird thing is that you can Kind of like, say you're going up against Mass Liberator, you oftentimes, I think you're like, supposed to go Tempest, at least that's kind of, but Tempest feel really bad. And then you also have to make the, the Fleet Beacon and the additional Stargate, which is really expensive. Yep, yeah. yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Final answer. <laughs> I think it should be a bit cheaper. Oh yeah, it's impossible, mister. 100%. The fact... I don't know if I can just run straight up over there, though, guys. Because I am uh, kind of in a dangerous spot. Maybe I should go this way. There's a boss for you there as well. Yeah, I, I want to try and get the gateway. So we're trying to go for a portal that is on the marker that I just marked. This map is massive. Mr. Bearman. Don't kill me. Mr. Bearman. That went really well, guys. Got it. Don't even wanna feel yeah. I have no idea what I'm running through right now. Uh, get over there, guys! It's a good weapon still, Loco. You, I mean, I can see it. I don't know what I'm running through right now though. I have no idea what I'm running through right now, though. It's a good weapon still, Loco. You just rarely see people playing with it. Okay. Yeah, this was... When I last played, it was considered to be one of the best PvE weapons. I, uh... Fuck me, dude. <laughs> I looked away for a second. I'm running through right now. Guys? Oh, are you kidding? Dude, just getting to this position. I looked away for a second. I, uh... Fuck me, dude. <laughs> Look to Fuck me, dude. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me, dude. <laughs> I looked away for a second. Oh my god. Well, I'm dead again. Dude, just getting to this position is hard. Oh, are you Um, I don't know how I get over there, guys. I don't know how to get to that spot. Buddy Vidra is like, yo, just go over here. Just, just run through the fog. You can't see where you're going. Just go right over here. Um, okay. I mean, I figured it wasn't that far. 
fucking from, from right over here. Maybe I'll go from that side instead. I'll go from fucking from, from right over here. That side instead. I'll go from fucking. From, from right over here. That's what I'll do. Over here is gonna go way better, I'm sure. Hey, I've had a. a wait. Of a straight line? Maybe this is. Okay, we made it. Oh, come on. I had to ban somebody in the chat. Ah, it's trying. How did I. <sighs> okay. Oh, come on. I had to ban somebody in the chat. The bear does not care. I'm almost there, though. Wait, what? No, I'm getting invaded? Oh, come on, man! <laughs> this is where I needed to be! Yeah, mods were slacking on the job, dude. They had one job and they failed it. Anyways. Alright, alright, we can just go there now. We can just go there now. I know where to go. They failed it. Anyways. Alright, alright, we can just go there now. We can just go there now. I know where to go. Double. What the f It little dangle dangles. A million times over? My, um, uh, a million times over? Usually too, right, Watopia? You're good at games usually too, right? so like, probably like a 250 hour... Yeah, I feel like 200 hours is like a pretty... You're 200 hours of game time and you're still not done yet? You're 200 hours of game time and you're still not done yet? Yeah, I feel like 200 hours is like a pretty good indicator. There's a doggo. You're good at games usually too, right, Watopia? So like, probably like a 250 hour... Like, unlike me, you know? A 250 hour... Like, unlike me, you know? Um, probably an easy 250 hour game. You follow the checklist so you could do all the NPC quests in the save file? Right. You follow the checklist so you could do all the NPC quests in the save file? Right. You accidentally did- Wait, you accidentally did New Game Plus? Doesn't it give you like four confirmation screens? And I just complimented you on being pretty good at games. Yet here we are. Uh huh. Here we are. Just two years ago, you were. Nice. I got my. Okay. I'm here to die to the boss 1700 times. This cave sucks. Well, it's Kalid, so of course it does. Yeah. Okay, uh, I don't know what this is. Scarlet Rot. Oh, yeah. Fucking. S That's why this place sucked, isn't it? Oh yeah, fucking s that's- Oh yeah, fucking s- <laughs> That's why this place sucked, isn't it? Yeah, Scarlet Rook was the, vo the, the worst, man. I found some dragon wound grease. <sighs> Rolling makes it worse. If I want to roll in the Scarlet Roll chat, come on, man, you should just let me. If I want to cover my body into the rot, I feel like I should be allowed to do that. Yeah, wasn't there a counter to this? Do I have to? But I'm wearing. Yeah, the, the, the mushroom. Much safer. There's a two. Hey, buddy. 
Like, I think this might honestly be the worst area I've ever seen. Hello? Are you guys the boss? Nope. Nope. Oh. Oh, this place. This place might honestly be the worst area I've ever <laughs> This is... This is like multiple sources of damage over time effects. What a... What a great... What a great place. This... This might be worse than Belgium. I mean, it's close. I'm just gonna keep running. That sounds impossible. Well, I mean, the roads... The roads are kind of similar. Like, the roads... Roads remind me. You're ready for the salt? I don't think there's gonna be any salt today. It's gonna be salty anyways. What are you trying to If I didn't know any better, I would think of that as a toxic comment. I should probably never salty anyways. You're ready for the salt? You're salty anyways. What are you trying to suggest, Beinstein? If I didn't know any better, I would think of that as a toxic comment. Comment. I should probably wear the, the, the mustache. I get salty. Some sort of. I can get kind of salty. Salty easier. To get salty. Um, I was hoping. That <laughs> hey! The pharaohs didn't have. The pharaohs' room to what? Uh, yeah. Terrified to work underneath that thing. In 20. Be really a first. That seems to be the go to, but no. Okay. Two tournaments. I agree, man. Uh, and, like, for instance, like, LeBron James would smoke. I think it's actually a harder tournament to actually lower. Okay. On here. Your sweetest thing in the StarCraft community over the. Uh, guys, do we want to get into his first premiere event until 2017? <sighs> you can, you can literally not, you know, we can't time travel. We also did win a rank. I feel like that is something we need to discuss. Now, I don't want to flex or anything, but I won two rank roulettes. Ryanus. But even how does any argument even work? I think of like rogue tournament wins. I think of all those abusive. The panel below the stream. Played together with me. ESL versus the world. Spoke long enough. I'm done. I'm done. We're not gonna talk about this anymore, guys. This has gone on for long enough. I'm surprised Artosis took the. Uh man. <laughs> Let me know you know <laughs> I was looking for this. LeBron James would not smoke smoke. Can't be the goat. Win here. He's going to He's gonna have to make a reaction video again to the cares to this. Don't worry, we'll come back to this, we'll revisit this in like an uh, another week or so. Somebody else will make a reaction video and then Artosis is gonna have to make a reaction video again. We'll, uh, we'll get to it. What is a Skip Bayless? What does that mean? Win here. So like, even though against StarCraft 2 Protals, it turns out against Brute War. What can those Dragoons do again? You can't draw Max Pex's Protals is ridiculous, man. His Bing can make StarCraft memes? Bing can make StarCraft memes? Get to it. Bing can make StarCraft memes? Ooh, we can have Bing make a StarCraft meme? Alright. Any suggestions, guys? I wish I could make the text box powered. Crying because Zerk is about Stark. Um, I wish I could make the text box. Um, make a StarCraft me okay let's see create that is it going to make an image though I'm assuming it's gonna make an image yeah 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 your image is generating it will just have a picture of me <laughs> it, it is me it looks
looks exactly like me. Look at this fucking loser playing Zerk with a controller. Me. Look at this fucking. Fucking. Loser playing Zerk with a controller. I think that's your problem, man. Ay, ay, ay. The monster logo on the fucking poster. What's this? Why is he wearing a flannel? I guess the Zerk is the monster? Yeah. Maybe that's right. Zerk GG. Ooh, very nice. Such bad AI art? What? I think this is beautiful. I actually think it's kind of good. It even has five fingers. Five fingers is not easily done, man. Add zero space, light one. Draw a picture of the best one. Tough one. Tough one. Draw a picture of the best Protoss player world. Oh, okay. Draw real life in a very... <laughs> Look at that! Facts of... <laughs> you choose to believe that that first picture is a neat max specs? Yeah, could be. Okay. Of the best Protoss player. Draw a picture... Oh, okay. Draw a picture... Of a Protoss player winning a premier StarCraft 2 tournament. At the very least, I'm excited. <sighs> okay, he's gonna make it. For us. Okay, he's gonna- I'm excited. Let's see. Is that a picture of Max Pax? Is that a picture of Max Pax? It could be. Protoss player winning a Premier StarCraft 2 tournament. Look at that. Oh my lord. It is Max Pax. <laughs> Whoa, shit, dude. Whoa, sh shit. Dude, he showed up in a hood. Amazing. Draw me a picture of a Zerg and a Protoss player falling in love. Let's see. Let's see. I'm excited. This is basically the plot of all of StarCraft 2. Yeah. Choose to believe that that first picture is a neat max pack? Yeah. Could be. He looks very dated. <laughs> <laughs> a Zerk and a Protoss falling in love. Why do they look like alien? Like they look like alien alien. Can you feel the love to <laughs> This one's actually <laughs> This one's actually so sick. I mean none of them look like Protoss, but still. Hmm. Very cool. Draw a picture. Of someone who believes that Rogue is the StarCraft 2 GOAT instead of... I will try to create that. Let's see. Let's have a look. <laughs> I don't know, man. It could be anything. I don't know, man. It could be anything. <laughs> it could be anything. What is this? I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. I love it. Whoa, whoa. Huh? Someone who believes... Oh, I meant that. Anyways, someone who believes the rogue in the StarCraft 2 goat instead of... What? Okay, well, my prompt was maybe not perfect. Hmm. Try and do that prompt again. Draw a picture of someone who believes that rogue. Is the StarCraft 2 GOAT instead of Serral? For some reason I could not type. Maybe it auto-corrected it. I will try to create that. Perfect. Oh! Wait. 
Draw a picture of someone who believes that Starcraft or that Rogue is the Starcraft 2 goat instead of Serral and it can't do it. Maybe I should do goat. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Draw a picture of someone who believes that Rogue is Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. The perfect prompt has been crafted. Draw a who's great. All right. All right. I think we got it. Possible chat. I'm sorry. He can't do it. I'll try that. Okay. Do it. He can't do it. He can't do it. It's not possible, chat. I'm sorry. I think I think it may not yeah, it may just not be confused because Roke is a Make an image of a loco Loco TV fan. Make an image of a loco TV fan. Alright. Can it do that? Is it going to draw a picture of you guys? Is it going to draw a picture of you guys? Please describe a more pr okay a descriptive prompt. Uh, make an image of make. Is it going to draw a picture of you guys? All right. Is it going to draw a picture of you guys? Please describe a more pr okay a descriptive prompt. Prompt. Uh, make an image. Of make an. Um, I don't know. Who watches the live stream? from home Here maybe that's better pilot seems lame i like co-pilot all right all right it's it's doing it it's you so guys are going to finally be able to put a name to really hmm that's <laughs> that's me loco oh no oh really <laughs> Very nice. Clem is a massive fan of my stream, dude. Local TV fan who watches the live stream from home. This is definitely Clem. He's got a yeah. He's got a big big ball of, of popcorn. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. The live stream from home. This is definitely Clem. He's got a yeah. He's got a big big ball of popcorn. Yeah. Oh yeah. There you go. It's true. <laughs> Bleen loan? What does that mean? What is that hair? Stop being jealous, Philippe. This is some am amazing hair, okay? Lock TV. 33 view viewers? Look, 33 viewers is better than no viewers, okay? And as long as Clem is watching my content, that's all that really matters. You guys are a lot more Gen Z than I realized. Yeah, I thought you, I, I thought most of you. Yeah. Draw a picture of a 30 year old soft. This will be. Yeah, I think this will be more accurate. I think we have proof once again. This. Yeah. Dog subs. Slub. Or I will GG. How did it go from that to this? You star sitting here for like 30 seconds? <laughs> if it's rock, paper, scissors. Hmm. Hmm. Image is generating. Hmm. This is kind of exciting, right? <laughs> We're kind of just. This, that's more like aura. That's Avatar for low. This this one is good. I think this make a VTuber avatar for Loco. Does that I have no idea if that works. Do I have to be better with my prompts? I don't know if it knows who I am. Like I tried making it I don't know. It doesn't seem to know who I, who I am. Loco who? That's basically what it asks. Yeah. It's a little toxic, but it is what it is. Why? How? No! No! What the heck, man? That's... No! That's not me! No! That's still not... That's not me, bro! This, according to the internet, should be my VTuber avatar? There are a lot of cats. I do have two cats. That's true, I guess. 
Yeah. How does it? Where, how does it think it's it's me, bro? That's, that's Twitch chat. Look at that. That's you guys right there too. I don't. No, this one makes me uncomfortable, dude. I don't like this one. There too. I don't. No, this one makes me uncomfortable, dude. Chat. Look at that. That's you guys right there too. I don't. No, this one makes me uncomfortable, dude. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. I don't like this one. I don't like this one at all. Mm, add a loco TV logo on their headset. Caption when the APM isn't enough to pay the bills. What the heck? This is one of the automated suggestions. When the APM isn't enough to pay the bills. What the hell? This is a dangerous one too, dude. Subscribe to their only dude. I feel like it's gonna ask me to subscribe to their OnlyFans. I I'm, I don't know what's going on. This one's a little dangerous. Copilot knows me too well. Apparently so, dude. When? When? The APM isn't enough to pay the bills. <laughs> what? StarCraft 2 live streamer with a caption when the APM isn't enough to pay the bills. Hmm. Oh, yeah, no, that's true. True. Big true, actually. That's exactly what I look like when I take my shirt off. And I put on a helmet. For some reason. And I paint my body green. Yeah. It's accurate. Oh, okay. Why is my... Why is my drink... Why is my... Why do I have two mice? Hell yeah. That's me on the weekend. Yeah. I have a bowl of oranges. I have a lot of pencils. I have multiple health potions on my desk as well. And apparently one sandwich. Yeah. I might be a dru druid? I might be. I'm counting money. That's what I'm doing. That's what I do on the weekend. Yeah. I just have money lying around, dude. Is a massive. I know who? Tar? The no. Know who? Yeah. Little tar. <laughs> Why? Ha no. No. What the heck, man? That's. No. That's not me. No. That's still not. That's not me, bro. This According to the internet, should be my VTuber. A lot of cats, I guess. How does it- where, how does it think- Yeah, no, that's true. And apparently one sandwich. I just have money lying around, dude. Oh, yeah, just piles of it. Alright, guys, I think- Clearly. Alright, guys, I think we learned a lot here. It's US dollars? Of course. Why would I have any other currency? Of course it's American. Alright, I think that's it, right? Do we need any more, more prompts? Are we good? Okay, it's American. Oranges aren't that expensive, are they? Awesome. Hey, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Can we do some more StarCraft? Oranges aren't that I apparently am. Draw a picture. I've been wondering about it. Draw a picture of man inside of the missile turret. I've been wondering about that guy for a long time. Who's inside of the missile turret, chat? Why does he- you wear a helmet. I did, Shua. Yeah. What does the man in the missile turret truly look like? Add, add a tiny ladder for him to climb out of? Make it. The man. Make it. Make it. The man inside of the missile turret. Wow. Wow. He looks kind of amazing. Wow. He looks kind of amazing. Holy shit, look at this. I'm starting with the man. Holy shit, look. Holy shit. Look at this. Holy shit, look at this. I'm starting with the man in the missile turret. This one's amazing, actually. Make it a gif of him spinning. It needs to be spinning, otherwise these, these look very good. Genuinely awesome. Yeah, maybe it's a promotion to become a missile turret man. 
I've never really thought about it that way, but... Being a missile turret is kind of maybe... Like the Marine Retirement Program. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. Well, these are a little larger than what I normally... Uh... Shit. Okay, okay. A GIF, by the way. I thought it would make it a GIF, but... Okay. It's like a weird spider mine type of thing. Very cool. StarCraft 3 confirmed? Starting to get that vibe. Okay, let's go back to a Bestel 5 series of effect. Oh, no, no, no. Where's... <laughs> Hyper realistic. I have not heard anybody use the word gnarly in a very long time. <laughs> Hyper Hyper-realistic Loco TV casting a StarCraft 2 match in an ESL tournament? Why the fuck do I have a gun pointed at my monitor? 2 match in an ESL tournament? Why the fuck? Why the fuck? Do I have a gun pointed at my monitor? Why am I left-handed? What is this bullshit, man? I don't want to be left-handed. All these gamers are left-handed. Man, I don't want to be left-handed. I left-handed. What is this bullshit, man? I don't want to be le left-handed. All these gamers are left-handed. All the mice are on the left. It's a very StarCrafty gun. Yeah. Maybe it's because my mouse goes in the left hand and my gun goes in my right. That, that would explain it. Thank you, Barabus, for the nine months. Welcome back. Why do all the pictures of me have a beard? Dude, I... That, that would explain it. My right. That, that would explain it. Thank you, Barabus, for the nine months. Gun goes in my right. That, that would explain it. Why do all the pictures of me have a beard? I should grow a beard. It's just that I can't. I'm poking pretty hard here, man. Either that or I'm trying to eat the microphone. Because that microphone is very bendy. It's looping back into my mouth. This looks like kind of like a sick RTS game, to be honest. That kind of looks good, man. Yeah. Alright. The AI doesn't know what a loco TV is. Their loss. TV is. Their loss. I think that was a pretty good example. Check out the link. Okay. Okay, this one, this Uh, it's fake news. Is it really Motlesses? It's a reported desk or button at the Salzburg airport. Ah, Why do you have to share the truth with me, man? Just let me live in my lies. That a camera was a bit of a pain on that one, but the real. Okay, so I'm trying to go. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm trying to go. Okay, so I'm trying to go to my marker. Marker eins. You were scared for a second. Don't be scared, Quinchin. Oh no. <laughs> Scared for a second? Don't be scared, Quinchin. Oh no. <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Rip horsey? I died too, Motlesses! You care more about my horse than about me. I get it, actually. Most horses are quite innocent. 
Most of them. I'm sure there are jerks out there, though. I don't know much about horses, but I feel like there's got to be some horses out there that just have really shitty personalities. Some horses out there that just have really sh sh shitty personalities. Like, they, like, show up late at the movie theater, and then they still use their fucking phone's flashlight to try and f And then they still use their fucking f They, like, show up late at the movie, and then they still use their, their fucking use their f fucking f phone's flashlight to try and find their seat. And they, they, like, probably have, like, a seat all the way in the middle, so, like, you know, everybody has to get up. It's really annoying when you have four, four legs. Yeah. Okay. Okay! Okay, there's nothing! Yes, forget their wallet, right? It's like the first- And they never have their wallet? Yeah, they always forget their wallet, right? It's like the first time- okay. Mistakes happen, but then the second time, it becomes a little clear, huh? That's when you realize you can't really be friends. Yeah. Yeah. Furiosa is good? Oh, God. <laughs> that was fucking terrifying, man! They're supposed to be- What? Okay, there's supposed to be one right over here. What? What's this? <laughs> that was fucking. T <laughs> Ter that was terrifying, man. Although you do have beautiful nails, you do have beautiful nails. You is there a tree over here somewhere? You nailed it. You nailed it. Close to the tree. That's not the tree that I meant. His manicurist? Damn, this is that is a, a hell of a word. He needs to tip his manicurist. I think it might be down over there. Uh, is there like a parachute? I think it might be all the way down over there. Wrist. I think jumping would be bad. <laughs> Top nine. Early. I had uh, I had two cats in the room. It's a very dangerous play, but we managed to uh, reduce the number down to just a single one. Very nice. Hey, thank you very much, Bobo, for the 38 months earlier. I appreciate it. Welcome. Yeah, so what I've decided to The room is now entirely safe. Peace up. I appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Long-term supporter. I could see a round of low claps. There it is. A low cheer. A low rave. We can do many things. Um, so we're gonna do some, uh, some co-op first. Together with CTG, of course. Then we're gonna be doing a, a little bit of casting. I'm gonna cast Serral versus Oliveira from the ESL Master Spring, which is considered to be like the best series from the entire tournament. That should be a lot of fun. And then I also wanna do that final boss that I still need to kill for the Elden Ring DLC. And I think at that point, my character for Elden Ring is basically fully ready. I mean, there's still a lot of things I could do, but we'll see. And if there's any time left over, I may do some mini painting as well, but honestly, I think that's probably gonna cover most of the stream. But maybe. Maybe everything will go really smoothly, you know? Yeah, Moak, I think, is what the final boss is called. Which is like, uh, it's a boss that you need to do for the DLC. I don't think it's a boss you need to do for the main game, but only for the DLC. I'm not exactly sure how that makes any sense, but... If we're gonna go there... We should probably uh, make sure that we shut down that boss ASAP. Do you want out as well, Toby? Guys, it's a sad day. Toby doesn't want to be with us. What are you doing? Why are you sniffing my door? Do you want out? 
talk my yeah. Basilisk at Dreamhack? Oh my god, what a terrible situation. Round nine. Wait, you walk inside with- Oh my god. Of us sharing Terran intel? What's on fresh and new, man? RTs linked to enhanced brain connectivity. Starcraft Curist. Starcraft X. Star. Starcraft expertise linked to enhanced brain connectivity. Bro, my brain. I I knew my brain was special. My mom taught me I was special. Yeah, no, this is definitely true. One hundred percent true. Factual. My brain's massive, bro. I've got so many wrinkles. Video games and neuroplasticity. See, you guys didn't even fucking know what that word is. See, you guys didn't even fucking know. Fucking know. Fucking know. know what that word is you didn't even know what that meant yeah but i play starcraft so i do starcraft 2 expertise linked to enhanced brain connectivity yeah your brain's kind of like a smooth bowling ball mine is like i've got wrinkles inside of my wrinkles is it like plastic yes in a recent study researchers explored the impact Real-time significant difference in have been published in a journal neuroimage. Alright. Yeah, this is gonna where we get our VGPA, where we get our generic fMRIs, and that's uh, yeah, fu functional connectivity, so scale. I yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so basically what this means, guys. My brain, my brain, right? I can I, I can interpret words sometimes. They tested this on a grand total of 60 two participants so video game players and guys that aren't video game players so uh can you draw any conclusions I, I don't know yeah sure i can link this in the chat oh my god they did they did dive pretty deep though so can we is there is there more how do we find like the details of the actual test groups how do I... How do I have this? Participant recruitment. 64 right-handed male subjects participated in this. Get out of here, lefties. If you're a fucking study. Get out of here, lefties. If you're a fucking lefty. If you're a fucking lefty. If you're a fucking lefty, get out of here. Yeah. Too late? No! <laughs> 64 right-handed male subjects participated in this study. Two subjects were excluded from the analysis because of their bad quality of MRI data. Yeah, these were probably lefties pretending to be righties. Let's be real here for a second. That's why we had bad quality of their MRI, MRI data. I think that makes a lot of sense. 62 participants in the end. All subjects completed an online questionnaire about demographics, education level, and video game playing experience. Alright. Inclusion criteria for the RTS group? Mean age was 24.7 years- What? I think the mean age for a StarCraft player is like 36. Anyways. Um, the RTS group was experienced in RTS and StarCraft 2. Alright. They played RTS games at least 6 hours a week for the past 6 they declared playing StarCraft 2 for, for more than 60% total gameplay time. They were an active player, played matches in at least the last two seasons, and they were placed in one of five StarCraft leagues. Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master, and Grandmaster. We're including gold players here too. Well, right-handed male gold league players. Okay, now fair. The inclusion criteria for the people that didn't play StarCraft, they played Less than eight hours of total. Okay, video games. In, okay, total. A week. Less than eight hours of total. Okay, video games in total. Across all genre. Okay. Yo, that actually surprised me a little bit. So they. Okay. I thought they would have like no gamers going up against gamers, but that's not what it is. Only male participants were recruited due to the lack of female participants with adequate video gaming experience. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, there, there you go, chat. Yeah, no, no more sexism in the chat. We got this. They, they clarified it. They couldn't find any. Like, they would have, but they couldn't. They, they didn't... Yeah, they, they just... Yeah. Fair enough. The ab Fair enough. The average StarCraft player has 0 0.2 girlfriends. That's true. Hey, thank you, Arcturus. Good luck with the ear next week. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay, so this is... There's zero StarCraft... Arcturus! Average StarCraft player has 0 0.2 girlfriends. That's true. Okay, so this is... There's zero StarCraft 2 experience. They did have real... So what did they play? What did the... What did the non-StarCraft group... They just didn't play a lot of games. They played some game. <laughs> the StarCraft 2 group scored zero in sports. Nice, chat. I agree. Yeah, no. We, we, we definitely... No, we have a full-on zero when it comes to regular sports. We don't do any of that shit. Racing? Zero point sports. We don't do any of that shit. Racing? Zero point thirteen. That's like a guy that played Mario Kart with his like little brother. Fair enough, fair enough. Multiplayer online battle arena. So that's a MOBA. Oh no. Are these League of Legends players? Hold up right now, chat. This Harley. <clears throat> there are some League of Legends players in this group. Yo, Peter! I have booked the upgrade to full fiber in time. Yo! Yo! There's in this group. Didn't you say you had this up that it's like semi hard gaming? Whole brain modeling and semi finally ready to go gaming right now. You've been waiting for five years. When I see this sort of shit, my eyes just glaze over. <laughs> yeah, where we're, we're, where do we have the quality? Okay, to external sim. That's what we scrolled past. Right. Superior? Is that what I've... Blah, blah, blah. Why video games? They found that the researchers explored the impact of playing RTS games with brain... I don't think so, anyways. So researchers explored the impact of playing RTS games with brain connectivity... They found that extensive gameplay, specifically in the RTS genre, is associated with significant differences in the brain's structural and functional connectivity. Alright. Video games have become a central part, previous research, our main interest, okay, blah blah blah. Why? Oh. So StarCraft players are literally superior? Is that, is that what I've... Is that what I've learned? Let me see. Make an image of a StarCraft 2 player who has a massive brain because he's better than other gamers and non-gamers. So, I think it's scientifically proven now. That's how it works. No, correlation definitely equals causation. Ooh, we have a new loading animation. I'm a bit of an intellectual myself, but it turns out you just play StarCraft. Very nice. There we go, Chet. Whoa, whoa. That's just... I think that's an average size brain. Like, they think this is a massive brain, but for a StarCraft player, that's just an average size brain. Yeah. Yeah, no, this this is what a, this is an actual StarCraft brain right over here. Yeah. Oh my god. What? Why is he being shot at from so many angles? Yeah, this is more like a Gold League brain right here. Like, still wrinkly, still impressive. This is what we're talking about, though. Yeah, this is just, this guy's head is just brain. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Very beautiful. Hey, thank you, Anger, for the 18 Very beautiful. This is probably a really good for all those players. This, this is probably, yeah, this is probably a pro players are smarter. We all knew that. It'd be max specs. Dude, StarCraft players have really good facial structure and everything too, man. Look at that. Yeah. No Zerk players, though? No, no, no. Absolutely not. The middle frontal gyrus. 
I see what Kyra's doing, chat. Is it, is it your problem, right? Slightly He says, inferior or superior up which is better for prestige or no okay last one okay one down. out is Sarah gonna be in the EU parliament no I already voted Dutch European politics I don't have a um so I don't have adepts I think I'm I may very well need oh there's two holes um so I don't have adepts uh, could be any. I don't really follow. Um, so I don't have adepts. I don't have adepts. I think I'm. I may very well. Need oh, there's two holes. Um, don't the chat. There's two holes in my wall. There's two holes. There's two holes. Um, don't. The chat, there's two holes in my wall, to clarify. I, geez, no. Come on, man. I can't say anything. Now there's only one. No, now there's only one. Fake news. I'm mostly scared of Zerklings early on because I don't have adepts. I don't know how reasonable... I don't know how reasonable my fears are. You sometimes think to yourself, how reasonable are my fears? Mm -mm 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 -mm. All my hotkeys are a mess. I'm a little afraid I'm just gonna have like a million Zerklings running in. This is one of the... <laughs> one of the build orders of all time. <laughs> it's so bad. There we go, we got a little bit of this, we got a little bit of that. A little bit of queuing. We go for some gases. Hell yeah, dude. Damn, it feels good to be a Protoss. We Silver League now? What? Yo, 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 yo. That's very toxic. Somebody get this Echo Steel guy out of my chat. I think powering my entire base with one pylon is a great idea. Pylon is a great idea. A warning? Yeah, I can give him a warning now. I didn't make a pylon, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Just a little late. Just late. Reaver! I know what you're thinking, Reaver. I just... No, 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 no. Chrono boost this. No, 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 no. I want to do a little bit of uh, this. What the hell is this?! One of those. What the hell is this?! It's a bunch of bullshit, is what it is, chat. It's a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. 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 Normally Echo- I, I understand that you say Echo Soldier, because normally Echo Soldier is the toxic one, but he's not even here. But I believe- yeah, we should just- yeah, let's just ban Josh. Just to be sure. It's a safe bet. <laughs> he's gonna say something stupid at some point in the future anyways. May as well just get it over with. Fucking pick it up and run! Jeez! Can you move over here, please? That behaved properly like a brood warrior. Yes. What do I do with all my gas? It'd be a shame if something were to happen to Woo! We did it. Probably stupid at some point in the future. I understand that you say Echo Soldier slash ban Echo Soldier. We got very close. Slash ban Echo Soldier? No, it was Echo Steel. Echo's a toxic one, but he's not even here. 
But I believe, yeah, we should just, yeah, let's just bend Josh. Just to be sure. Safe bet. <laughs> May as well. You're gonna ping him on this. Yeah, I Mugget Suga Welcome. I, wait. I, I, I. That is suspicious. I have to put in some work. No clue about what. Oh, did write your name properly this time or right now. You really have to put in some work. Open, that would be why. Or I accidentally killed Rob. World games and play Monster Hunter. Just be fucking happy already. I've been working on this for. He was alone. Phantom Blade Zero gameplay trailer. Different vibe, chat. Who the fuck hangs a whore? I love this heavy game, yes. Yeah. I'm a little afraid that this is a lot of button smashing. Another game. Fox? Only a game you want to check out. I don't see any guns. Uh. <laughs> it goes on sale quite a bit if I'm not. Where the gun? I don't see any guns. <laughs> uh. Gamers. Gamer. Gamers. There have been a lot of game announcements over the last couple days. This is the one, though, at the tippity top of the list for me. A couple months ago, I got an email asking if I wanted to go ahead and play a game that didn't have a name yet at the time, or at the very least, that didn't give us a name. It turns out the name of the game is... Gamers! There have been a lot of game announcements over the last couple days. This is the one, though, at the tippity top. Last couple days. Last couple days. This is the one, though, at the tippity top of the list for me. A couple months ago, I got an email asking if I wanted to go ahead and pl play a game. That didn't have a name yet at the time. Months ago, I got an email asking if I wanted to go ahead and play a game that didn't have a name yet at the time, or at the very least, that didn't give us a name. It turns out the name of the game is called, well, it's Battle Aces. Basically, the studio gave us a name. It turns out the name of the game is called, well, it's Battle Aces. Basically, the studio they flew over a whole bunch of StarCraft nerds, myself included, and some other people too from other games. And we got to play this game for a couple days. Remember, remember that secret trip that I went on? Basically, <laughs> I flew to the US, if I'm not mistaken, on Sunday. And then I flew back home on Wednesday. <laughs> Best trip of my life. No, it was, it was a, a lot of flying in a very short amount of time. I did not have the greatest of sleep schedules. But this is the game that is made by a studio that has a bunch of old StarCraft developers in there. Um, most notably, I guess, David Kim. David Kim used to be the lead multiplayer designer for StarCraft 2. So, you know that guy that people blame whenever they lose? That's David Kim. That David Kim. Same David Kim. Lose. That's David Kim. That David Kim. Same David Kim. He, uh, he now works at this studio instead, and they've been cooking up a brand new RTS game. Which... This one's exciting. Yeah, it's definitely different. It's definitely very different, but let's have a look. We get a gameplay trailer. What's kind of cool, basically, basically they invited us over and they were like, yo, we're working on this game. Go ahead, give it a try. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect when we got there. But we basically had two days to play the game. We played like a little internal tournament. It was actually really fun. I found, like when I first saw the game, I wasn't 100% sure, but I found it to be very addictive pretty much right from the get-go. It's very different than other strategy games that are currently in development, or at least ones that I've seen. So basically the way that this game works, right? It's a one versus one, or I guess you can play 2v2 as well. I think they actually, they sent me over some gameplay files that I'll have a look at as well in just a moment. Uh, but this game has deck building just a moment. Uh, but, but this game 
moment. But this game has deck moment. But this game has deck building. Now I know that that is something a lot of StarCraft players. Just a moment. But this game has deck building. Now I know that that is some. Uh, but this. Uh, but. But, but this game has deck building. Now, I know that that is something a lot of StarCraft players in particular are allergic to. But it's actually kind of cool. So, we were there with maybe like 20, maybe 25 people or so. StarCraft commentators, but also pro gamers. Guys like Parting, guys like Clem. Everybody got to try this out, right? And we were sitting there playing on like a server that they hosted locally. Because obviously the game was... Well, not released yet. It's still not released right now. It was like a pre-alpha edition or whatever you want to call it. And we had this internal meta. And I am usually not a massive fan of like games that have like deck building. Or at the very least, I always am a little hesitant. hesitant. But what I found myself happening, right? I, I played a game, for example, against Clem. Clem absolutely destroyed him. Clem absolutely destroyed me. And rather, and this is the, this is the key right here. Rather than me saying, no, Clem is better at video games than me. I blamed the deck. <laughs> I naturally picked the exact deck that Clem was playing in my next game, and I started winning some matches there too. Yeah, and I actually think that that is a very underestimated mechanic, at least like a mental mechanic for RTS players, where you give it a try and you're like, no, 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 it's not me that's the problem. It's clearly my deck that's the issue. Now, what's really cool is that initially, right, so for like the first couple hours, the pro gamers were feeling pretty smug about it all. Yeah, the StarCraft casters. <laughs> the pro gamers were feeling pretty smug about it all. Yeah, the StarCraft casters were all sitting there like, <laughs> the StarCraft casters were all sitting there like, like, <laughs> like. <laughs> Like, <laughs> this unit is broken. This has no counter. And then, well, counter. And then, well, one of the game no counter. And then, well, one of the game developers showed us, wait a second, counter. And then, well, one of the game developers showed us, wait a second, no, no, no. If you pick these and these units, you can counter that build quite easily. And, and over the course of the meta, two days that we were there, the meta shifted wildly, and it was so much fun to actually watch this develop. Some of the, so, so I guess the, the, best, the best praise I can give a, a game that's in development is that after that first day, right, we went back to the hotel, there was still a second day before I would fly back home. I couldn't sleep because I was incredibly jet-lagged, but I was super excited to continue playing the game. <laughs> so the first day, I think we must have played like six hours or so. I was excited to go back to the studio and actually like continue playing the game, which is... As somebody who's played a lot of RTS games, that doesn't really happen very quickly. I think that's a pretty good sign. Yeah, it's very addictive because you're, you have so many different ways to to play the game and so many different loadouts. And obviously, they can change the units. They can adjust a lot of stuff. So, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to show us here. Yeah. Now it is very different than StarCraft. They actually sent me over some proper like gameplay matches from start to finish. So we'll have a look at those in just a moment. But it basically lets go of all of the base building that a lot of people love in RTS games, myself included. Oh my god. <laughs> those units, I have not seen those big boys before. Uh, it lets, it gets rid of a lot of them before. Uh, it lets, it gets it lets, it gets rid of, it lets, it gets rid of a lot of the base building that a lot of people know um, from for Um from, for example, StarCraft. Because the thing is, right, and I think the studio has thought about that quite well. Do people that casually play RTS games actually... Well, do people that casually play RTS games actually want to learn build orders and stuff, right? Because, like, if you want to play StarCraft 2 1v1 competitively, it's going to come with, like, 20 hours of study and, like, a lot of 1v1 practice and really playing against the AI and... You know, asking friends. And, like, there's, there's this, like, there's this, like, lead-up that you need if you want to play StarCraft II competitively. And it takes a lot of time. It's kind of like running a, you know, a second job or whatever, right? So, it seems like this game 
is trying to like get rid of all of that. So, so here's here's one of the gameplay files to send over. So this is a 2v2. Apparently Ted together with David Kim going up against Stefan and MS Kagal. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is how the game starts. Your buddy just called in a resource base. Okay, so this is this is how the game starts. Your buddy just called in a resource base. Okay, so this is a 2v2. I haven't actually seen a 2v2. There's two ways in which you win this game. 2v2. There's two ways. 2v2. There's two ways in which you win this game. Either you kill all of your opponent's bases, fair enough, or the timer runs down to zero. So the absolute maximum duration for a game is 10 minutes. <laughs> now that, <laughs> that is very different than pretty much every RTS game out there. Yeah, there is a maximum of 10 minutes for every game. And what's very strange, and I, 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 Wardy brought this up, I, I was thinking about it myself, Wardy brought up that the games kind of feel like they are longer than they actually are because the action starts right at the very beginning. So even though like a 10 minute game doesn't seem like a very long amount of time, it really does feel like the game is very fast paced and the game actually like, kind of moves on. So at the beginning of a game, so you, you basically set up your deck, right? You build your deck. There's different teams. The game is very fast. So at the beginning of a game, so you, you basically set up your deck, right? You build your deck. There's different tiers to the units. So in the bottom left hand corner you can see the command card so in the bottom left hand corner you can see the command card over here there's a couple different resources there's like a supply count whatever right so at this point in the game the player over here that we are observing with they can build two whatever right so at this point in the game the player over here that we are observing with they can build two different units now for 400 400 of each of these two For 400, 400 of each of these, now for 400, 400 of each of these two resources, you can either build an expansion, you can tech up to war. For 400, you can tech up to war. Like what is it? Like um, I have the notes here somewhere of what they called this. One second, let me. See. Um, I have the notes here somewhere of what they called this. One second, let me find this. Um. They, they give, uh, I think it's a foundry? If I... Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a foundry or a star for 400 minus 400 for everything if you end up losing it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a foundry or a star forge. That's it. Yeah, it's a minus 400 minus 400 for everything if you end up losing it. So, it's 400. Yeah, it's a minus 400 minus 400 for everything if you end up losing it. So, it's 400, 400 for an expansion, which is this hotkey. It's 400, 400 for a this hotkey. It it is 400 for 100 for a... It's 400 for 100 for an expansion, which is this hotkey. It is 400 for 100 for a foundry, which is this hotkey. And then 400 for 100 as well for a star forge. Yeah. And the idea is that you can just build one of those if, if you want it. Now, at the very beginning of this particular match, they expand it. So you can see that they have an expansion on the mini map here. So you can see that they have an expansion... on the mini map here and the expansions are actually predetermined on the mini map expansion on the mini map here and the expansions are actually predetermined so the only thing you do to build an expansion is hit the hotkey z and in pretty much every game that we ended up playing everybody just smashed hotkey z right at the very beginning of a match obviously balance wise i'm sure they're going to change a lot of things and the units definitely are you know very tweakable, but look, he, he spammed Z here, and both players instantly expended. So you don't actually have to, like, go across the map and, like, build an expansion and build a base or whatever. This is how you start off. Besides that, there is no actual unit building. 
or not like unit production because everything spawns in immediately right at the very beginning of the match you can just start spawning in units so you could for example choose to not expand but instead go for like a whole lot of unit production right at the very start or you can go straight into a foundry or for example a, a star forge so naturally fear dragon was there as well Fear Dragon immediately came up with the dirtiest cheese in this game, where everybody is fast expending, but Fear Dragon found out that there's a unit you can get pretty early. I think it was in the, in the, in the, what is it? The foundry where you just, you just win the game if you don't micro pretty much perfectly. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty much perfectly. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. Perfectly. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. Yeah, he basically came up with the six pool. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. Okay. <laughs> Which is pretty crazy. Yeah, he basically came up with the six pool of the game. Except it was like a tech, yeah. Fear Dragon's known for his Dark Templar cheeses and all kinds of nasty stuff. So... I guess it wasn't all too surprising. So you don't have to build workers. Basically, after you build an expansion, I think it takes like a minute or so before the units and the workers spawn in. So you can actually see the, the workers spawning in over here on the left. These little fields will come into effect. And most notably here too, if you look at the minimap right now, you have vision of where the opponent's expansions are. So there is a fog of war, which is this like, I don't know, this like red dust type of thing that we see. There is a fog of war. But you can't see that your opponents have expended. Yeah, it's like sand, I guess. Like a very foggy type of thing. Okay. So this is the enemies now attacking towards the top left. Um, oh, another cool little overview. Scarts the top left. Um, top left. Oh, another cool little overview screen. That is quite neat. So I think it's hotkey tab. You can see what the opponents are doing. So... You can see the units that they have in their decks and what you should be playing against. So the one that David Kim, I think we're observing David Kim here. He has this recall unit. So that's these little blue dudes over here. These purpley blue dudes. They can recall towards expansions on a very quick cooldown. So this is kind of like, at least in my experience, it's kind of like the macro build where you use that for base defense. Because even though they're relatively slow and relatively weak, you can expand all over the map and use that for a teleportation, which is kind of neat. Yeah, so his ally is running the blinky boys instead, those green guys that you see running across the screen. So, the game either ends when you destroy all of the opponent's structures, or you see running across the screen. So, the game runs down. So... The game either ends when you destroy all of the opponent's structures or the timer runs down to zero and there's like a, a score system. And it forces the game basically to end by like minute 10, right? So either you win on score, but that rarely happens most of the time. So we actually have a, what seems to be a bit of a base trait here. Yeah, recall right now again by David Kim. Trying to back off. His ally is still in the bottom right hand corner. So he's actually trying to kill one of those bases. Yeah. So unit production always happens from the main. But there is like some wild and wacky units that you can build in this game that are all very, very cool. And obviously they can add so much, right? You can have like static defensive structures as like one unit type. You can do, I don't know, like siege. I don't know. There's all kinds of options that could be built. It's very easy to read. I think that's one of the things that they really focused on. Because you want to be able to quickly jump into a game, right? So this, like, this is kind of what I'm talking about, right? So we're now three minutes into this game. It kind of feels like we're arrived in the mid game, right? Okay, in StarCraft 2, you'd still be building drones in your main at this point. And it's, it's, a different, it's a very different vibe. The game seemed to go by so very rapidly. Um, but still, it feels... Um, but... Um, but... But still, it feels like a... A relatively long match. So there's actually some, I think they're called phoenixes if I'm not mistaken, those flying units, those machines. I don't know any of the unit names, but... The teleport does have a cooldown, so that's the Q ability that we see over here. So when he has army selected, um, you can see... Uh, 
Um, you can see you can see the Q ability over here. The UI, by the way, is incredibly minimalistic. So you either select your army or you select your your units or sorry your bases, and that's really about it. Yeah, you can individually click on units if you want to. But like one of the that's the Stimpak unit, by the way, basically a Stimpak. Those are not the scientific names, but <laughs> in StarCraft 2, I've done a lot of coaching over the years, right? And when you coach somebody in StarCraft 2, especially in the lower leagues, usually the advice is to not look at battles. And that is one of the disconnects, I think, that kind of happens in traditional RTS. Where looking at fights is oftentimes what players naturally try to do, but it's not actually the best thing to do if it's very macro focused. This game has not a ton of macro. At least not in the sense that you have to press a lot of hotkeys and go back to your main and all that, and then, you know, build stuff. It just has a lot of... Oh my god. Yeah, that unit I do not know. <laughs> Anyways, it has a lot of instant build, right? So you kind of naturally just find yourself looking at your main army. So he's actually blinking forward, trying to get rid of that big boy. Seems like a bit of a risky choice. This is the first time I'm seeing a 2v2, but it's actually quite legible. Huh. I have no idea if it's worth target firing down that thing. Yeah, so hotkeying works the exact same way as you would expect it to. I didn't notice any like input delays or any repeat rate issues. The unit pathing was excellent. And even though it's like quite minimalistic, right? And I, I can imagine a lot of people would consider this maybe a bit too simplistic. I found it very fun to play. I'm not sure exactly how it would play as like an eSport, for example. But I know there's a lot of mobile games out there that have like big eSport scenes that are very, very simplistic. I tried playing those, and I couldn't really get into it, but, um... There's very little downtime, okay? There's not really any base building or really any, uh... Well, there's a little bit of base building, I guess, but very little. So now, we have tentacles on Mothership in StarCraft 3. Low pop. I don't... I, thank you for the $3 donation. I don't think that's a Mothership with tentacles. But... That could be considered a Mothership with tentacles. But... That could be considered a mothership with tentacles. Yeah, you, you could definitely, you could definitely call it that. They sent me like two dozen games, by the way. So I don't know what we should look at next. Wasp Stinger Dragonfly Multi Base Harassment Defend uh, Gunbolt Shocker. Okay, so this is a one v one. David Kim going up against Stefan. All right, a one v one. Resource base warmed up and working. Different map apparently than two v two. Very slow. Wasp Stinger Dragonfly? Right? I guess he, uh, attack. Decided, already signed up. Nice. To call exactly where it's gonna go. But things he would There's also this thing that was up exactly where it's gonna go, but we'll see. Wasp Stinger Dragonfly, Multi Base Harassment, Defend, uh, Gunbolt Shocker, and Heavy Hunt. Okay. So this is a 1v1. David Kim going up against Stefan. Alright, a 1v1. Different map apparently than 2v2. Very similar looking layout. So once again, fast expend right here by David Kim. And now he's gone for these super quick. Whoa, was that sound effect in my. Was that in real life? Was that in the game? I think he may have pinked. All right, a 1v1. I think he may have pinked. <laughs> I was trying to figure out if that was like a weird, okay, no, no, no. I think he may have pinked the map or something. I'm not exactly sure. They did actually, hold up. They, they did send over like a, a They did actually, hold up. Uh, they, they did send over like a, a list with different unit names if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a unit cheat sheet So I can actually give you guys a little bit more information about what the units do um, let me, Although I don't really know I maybe I should have checked this out before today a little earlier Now okay, so the the little guy is called a wasp Then we have stingers dragonflies apparently that I for here in this Kim is going to be going for here in this particular match. 
So these guys are our, the wasps. Super cheap. I think they're the cheapest unit in the game. Super fast. So those are actually the unit I was trying to highlight earlier. The pro gamers immediately gravitated towards them. They're basically speed links. And they were considered very broken for the first two hours or so of us playing. And then we found out very quickly that, nope, they actually can get countered. So he's going quick triple base, David Kim that is. And he's going up against a guy here who's using gunbots. The gunbots have like a stimpack like ability, so they kind of look like these marines. If I'm not mistaken, they're the unit that, um, that can stim. So he's, yeah, he's trying to attack with the wasps as the workers spawn in for the opponent. So David Kim here has a small group of units. Trying to distract that main army here and then destroy the opponent's economy. So he's sacrificing most of the wasps, it looks like. Yeah, I did a little bit of damage. They're gonna take another minute before they spawn in again. Which is kind of cool. And now he's gonna go up to the Star Forge. So Star Forge is also 400-400. Wait, was he going to the Star Forge or was that the opponent? Fog of War looks a little annoying. It's a different color, right? Rather than like a black Fog of War, it's like a... Like, I don't know, they look like clouds over here. I think there is some unit regen, but I'm not 100% sure. This fog is more foggy. Yeah. Yeah, workers seem to auto respawn on one minute. I'm not sure exactly if the timer is one minute. But basically, you can tell that your opponent is expending. And then one minute after they expend is when the workers appear. So David came here with a fight in the bottom right and corner in the middle of the map. And then also trying to get some, uh, some damage done in the opponent's main base. Mostly just trying to be super annoying with these wasps. Because they're so cheap, you can build them so easily. Yeah, so he built the Starforge here. And that's going to allow him to make some higher tier units. And apparently what he's going for is Dragonflies. That's these guys right over here. They're very strong. And they can obviously fly. Which means that if the opponent doesn't have anti-air. And that's one of the issues you can run into when you build a deck. <laughs> if you don't have anti-air, uh, life becomes a bit of an issue. Uh, uh, life, be life becomes a bit of an issue. Now there is anti-air right there for Stefan, so he should be able to push this back. Clem was very good with dragonflies. Just insane multitasking. Where there's apparently units flying all over. That looks kind of sick actually, I've never noticed that. Looks like we're on like a pick actually. I've never noticed that. Looks like we're on like a a battlefield floating above Earth. Okay, trying to get us around here. Stim is getting activated. They will run away. Thing is, those I think they're called stingers. Those little I don't know, super fast moving cars <laughs> that are over here that move at the same speed pretty much as the wasps they're much more powerful they can kind of kite but basically this is just a hyper mobile army going up against a very passive army i guess so stefan here not really moving around the map all too much yeah clement parting were very good naturally we did like a little internal tournament and i ended up going up against parting and he got very good. Artosis actually got pretty good pretty fast as well. I like to think I was playing pretty well. But um, I kind of like... So what I got to is that I found a build and a, a deck that I really liked. And we kind of just ran that for a very long while. Especially on day two. We kind of just ran the same build very frequently against one another with like minute adjustments. So like the first day, everybody switching decks after, you know, like all of the units in every deck after every single round but then you know day two you kind of find what you like and everybody ended up with like very different setups so what i what i kind of like here is that it doesn't do that thing where it tries to make the game more simplistic as far as multitasking goes because there's like a ridiculous amount of apm needed here like the faster player will definitely be better but it is still like make, making like the whole macro mechanic a lot more simplistic. So I think this army here from Stefan might just be too strong. Yeah. So he's been harassing all over the map. But then Stefan comes across with just a huge army. This is the main base, by the way. So if the main base falls... Well, Dave Kim is in a world of issue, a world of problems. So he's trying to save up money right now. 
trying to spawn in one really large group, but there's no way he's good enough. Nah. He concedes. GG. Nice. Uh, there is an attack move, yes. If I'm not mistaken, there was an attack move. Uh, there is There is an attack move, yes. There is There is an attack move, yes. If I'm not mistaken, there was an attack move, or at least it yeah, I think that must have been. Can we watch one more? Uh, um let's see. Uh, uh, uh So this is more of a macro focus game. Watch one more? So this is more of a macro focus game. At least from David. There is an old army hotkey too, yes. I think the old army hotkey is tilde. You can see it over here in the bottom left when there's units. And then tap is basically the unit production. So there's like pretty much only two screens. I think there is a maximum army size, but I don't remember exactly how. Yeah. The game only lasts 10 minutes in total. So it's not like you can really, you know, make like a huge army and just sit there. The Fog of War doesn't bother me, but it is a little different. The Fog of War doesn't bother me, but it is a little different, I guess, than all other RTS games out there. So this time around, David is going for that um, teleportation unit. So he's expending. You can see he just took a third. And he can teleport around the map. His opponent is now the one playing with the uh, the wasps. This is probably the most turtley playstyle you can go for in the early game, at least. You got a resource space taking fire. I actually was pleasantly surprised though with the way that like the meta worked, because I kind of assumed as well that there would be like a a bit of like an overpowered unit composition that the pro gamers in particular would be able to sniff out very rapidly, and maybe that does exist. But as long as they, like, keep iterating and they, like, add new units, for example, or they just do balance adjustments or whatever. Like, imagine you have a game like this, where, like, every week, two units cycle out. Or whatever, right? Like, I don't know. I have no idea how they're planning on doing that. But say, like, you have a game like this, where, like, there's a deck of, like, I don't know, X amount of units. And every week, there's, like, a two that get cycled out and two new ones that get added in. Say, like, the most used units, they get cycled out, right? Like, you could, you could create some really fun meta shuffles every week where like even if the meta would like look still initially like it's only gonna be still for a couple days because i think there's a lot of variety you can do man it's actually kind of sick it's kind of neat because you can just kind of this game kind of feels like one of those like okay I'm, I'm gonna boot this up for 20 minutes and just sort of play whereas like a game like stormgate for example or zero space definitely is gonna require a little bit more study Whereas for this, you could like, okay, you could look at like, okay, what's the deck that Clem is playing this week? I guess I'll be playing the same deck. Yeah, so apparently the game is called Battle Aces. I think that's what they announced today. So he's trying to sneak out units right now. He's got re... Day. So he's trying to sneak out units right now. He's got recall available. He's recalling with a part of his army, but not everything. So this is a small chunk of it. He's gonna send out, yeah, a little bit of a hit squad. The opponent is in the top left end as well. This is, um, what are they called again? King crabs, if I'm not mistaken. King crabs are a melee unit that deals a stupid amount of damage. So the king crabs have already killed that base in the top left. He's now killing that base in the bottom right. Uh, bottom right and I'm assuming he's gonna recall out of here after this fight. Maybe not. There we go. So he recalled, so this is... Maybe not. There we go. So he recalled, so this is... Sweet little play here by, by uh, David Kim. So... The expansions like... The expansions... like I said, right, are in a predetermined order. So the way that this goes is this is your main, natural, third, fourth, and then this is the fifth right over here. So, right over here. So, as he kills this base in the bottom right hand corner, he wants to move on to that expansion over here in the middle. Move on to that, he wants to move on to that expansion over here in the middle next. 
to that expense. He wants to move in the bottom right hand corner. He wants to move on to that expansion over here in the middle next. On to that expansion over here in the middle next. So what David does is he moves it over as far away as possible towards the bottom right. Then he tabs the expansion button, which brings... Then he tabs... The expansion button, which brings his next expansion right up there. Then he recalls right up there. And then he's obviously right next door to the opponent's 30s. Opponent's 30s. Next door to the opponent's 30s. Door to the opponent's 30s. Which is kind of a cute play. So there's like actually a lot of strategic depth. You need some turtling capabilities. I mean, they've been, they've been thinking about it. So he double expands and then he recalls up north and then he instantly attacks for the center base. Advance, recall, select it. So I think he's got actually a full recall army. Yep. He's got some higher tier units now too that are much better against structures. And then he recalls out again. That was actually a really sweet play by David. I like that. Okay, so now Stefan has been reduced to just two bases. There are some higher tier units now as well. I don't know what those do. Apparently they're called Mammoths? I don't remember the Mammoths. Maybe they're new. I don't know. I think David is mostly just trying to build up as big an army as possible. I think David is mostly just trying... I don't know. I think David is mostly just trying to build up as big... I think David is mostly just trying to build up as big an army as possible. Because he knows he's had the economical advantage for some time. So as long as he's got three bases versus two, it's fine. Him losing a fourth is irrelevant. I don't think there are any factions. I don't think there are any factions. You just... You can choose any unit in your deck. Obviously, there are some limitations as far as that goes. But you do kind of need some anti-air, for example. And you do need, like, a foundry unit. Yeah. Maybe at some point there will be factions. I'm not sure about their plans as far as that goes. So strategically, this has been really well played here by David Kim. It looks like his army is ultimately very big. He wins against... So this was like a full army wipe, basically, on both sides. But David Kim is on three bases, and the opponent is on two. And again, this, is, this has now been a four and a half minute game. It doesn't feel to me like a four and a half minute game that we've been watching, right? Like, we're only like four minutes and a little bit in. For some reason, the games feel much longer than they actually are. Yeah. Since I guess it's action right from the very beginning. There's a... There's a mid-game feeling right at the very start of the game. Or maybe it's just because I'm so used to the pacing of StarCraft. Like, in StarCraft 2... Exactly. This would be the moment that an oracle flies around, right? Like at like minute four is when the oracle arrives on the other side of the map in a Protoss versus Zerk. So the first, so this would be the point, basically when the game is over, uh, uh, this would kind of be the point where the oracle would be flying in. Yeah, I think this game has a lot of potential for sure. Let's watch one more. So this is one more. Blink, Airship and Falcon. So this is one more. One more. So this is one more. Blink, Airship, and Falcon versus Recall with Dragonfly Horizon. One more. So this is one more. One more. So this is one more. Blink, Airship, and Falcon versus Recall with Dragonfly Harass. Enemy is building a resource base. Now, I know there's a lot of people. So this is one more. Blink, Airship, and Falcon versus Recall with Dr Now, I know there's a lot of people out there that will be picking a favorite, right? I think there's a lot of people out there like, okay, there's so many RTS games in development right now. I'm going to have to pick one. I see a lot of arguments of people like saying like, oh, Zero Space is better than Tempest Rising. And Tempest Rising is better than Stormgate. And Stormgate is better than Zero Space. And like, there's all these games in development right now. I don't really want to pick favorites personally. I just want to play all of them. <laughs> That's my plan. I um I don't really mind that there's more options, you know? Like this is this is very different plan.
I don't really mind that there's more options, you know? Like, this is, this is very different than the other games out there, and I think a lot of games can easily coexist alongside one another. I also don't really see StarCraft 2 really going anywhere anytime soon, but... Um, I think it's fun. The more the merrier, man. I'm soon, but I think it's fun. The more the merrier, man. This is definitely a more simplistic version as far as like base management goes. But I can't imagine as far as like average player enjoyment goes. This would this would rise to the top of the list. Because, like, one problem you have, right, as an RTS developer... Say you want to make a StarCraft 3 right now, right? A lot of people want to play StarCraft 3, but do they really want to play StarCraft 3? <laughs> right? Like, a lot of people are here for, like, a new big RTS game that works like the Blizzard RTS games. But a lot of people would, like, give them, give them a shot for a little bit and then realize, Oh my god, this is super hard. This is going to be very difficult for me to learn to play. So people, you know, obviously stick to the campaigns. People kind of play co-op. But a lot of people choose to never play 1v1. And that makes a lot of sense, because for StarCraft 2 to learn 1v1, for WarCraft 3 to play 1v1, you need, like, you need baseline skill, right? And, like, going... It's so hard to play because it takes so much time. So you don't really have, like, casual 1v1 players in a game like WarCraft or a game like... Like, casual 1v1 players in a game like WarCraft or a game like StarCraft, because... <laughs> Most people that play it still in 2024 have been playing it for like a decade And it, it takes a lot of work to get into right at, at least it feels like it takes a lot of work Now a lot of people out there are more than willing to take in the work and, and to put in the work, but Obviously if you're a game developer, it is kind of difficult to Sell a game that is focused on 1v1 primarily or at least on multiplayer matches I don't know if there's gonna be a campaign or co-op or anything like that for this but as far as, like, competition goes, I think this is the type of game that a lot of RTS fans would be willing to give a try. Like, you kind of get the same vibe as you would from playing a 1v1 in, like, a StarCraft without needing to study for, like, you know, what seems to be ages. Because as soon as, like, if you've played 1v1 in StarCraft 2 after watching 1v1 in StarCraft 2, and maybe I'm one of the issues here too, man. I've uploaded many StarCraft videos at this point, but... Maybe if you, like, look at the games, you're like, oh, yeah, hold my beer. L let me go ahead and give it a shot, right? And you realize you're really bad. <laughs> you realize you're re you really suck at RTS games. Yeah, I think we all suck. I've played StarCraft 2 for so many years now, and you kind of figure out, yeah, no, you're... I'm never going to be Serral, dude. Even though um, I'm definitely better than the average StarCraft player, you know, I know I'm never going to be able to... To reach Serral. And like, coming to that realization <laughs> is a bit of a painful one. Now, in StarCraft's, in, in StarCraft's favor though, that works out really well, because the vast majority of people that watch StarCraft 2 in 2024 don't actually play StarCraft 2. So it has a lot of staying power, especially as like an eSport. So I'm not sure exactly how this game would play as like an eSport compared to StarCraft 2. But... I think as as a game developer, if you're trying to like appeal to a broad audience, this makes a lot more sense. Cuz like this is the type of game that you can play a round off while you're in your queue of a Dota match, right? Like you you can you can wait for your next game to pop in Counter-Strike and you can play a round of this. Like this is the game you can just kind of chill when you boot up and you can hang out with your buddies on Discord and play for like a couple of minutes. And I think that's a very different vibe. Now, I, I'm just, you know, thinking out loud. I'm not really, I'm not really sure exactly how it would really play out and, you know, what the appeal of something like this truly is. But I think in my mind, there's, there's a lot of people um, that are more than down to go ahead and give, like, a more simplistic game a shot. It's kind of like Mechabellum. Mechabellum is more like a, uh, a direct strike type of competitor, right? This is maybe, um, what's that arcade game called? Marine Arena or something? I'm not exactly sure. Anyways, it's like a it's like a similar vibe of like a smaller version of an RTS game. StarCraft 2 pros can play this while playing StarCraft 2. You could play this easily while playing Hearthstone Battlegrounds. You could easily play this while playing Hearthstone Battlegrounds. Assuming you know Hearthstone Battlegrounds really well. I know there's people that play two instances of Hearthstone Battlegrounds at the same time. 
because there's not enough, you know, for them to focus on. <laughs> you can easily do it. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. Definitely, I'm gonna keep my eye out on this game. What's the saying again? The more ships, the the higher. No, what's the? I'm gonna have to look this up. What's the saying? Let me let me see. A rising tide lifts all, all boats. There you go. That's the saying I was looking for. There's a lot of RTS games currently in development, and yeah, I think uh, the more the merrier. We don't really have to choose. We can just play them all. That's what I'm gonna do, anyways. Bolt claim loco. I know, I know. I'm gonna do anyways. Bolt claim loco. I know, I know. Have I ever been infinite in Hearthstone Battlegrounds? I'm sure there are some very action-packed heroes in Hearthstone Battlegrounds too, but. <laughs> I was pretty close, right, Mouse Mask? Yeah. I think it looks really good. Should I... Should I, up I think it looks really good. Should I upload my long-ass monologue here as a YouTube video? Maybe I should upload it. Although I kind of went all over the place. I think it's gonna be fun. Reller 2 and 3 are still great. Farming content already. I think this is gonna be kind of a difficult game to cast. But maybe not, I don't know. Farming content already. I think this is gonna be kind of a difficult game to cast. But maybe not, I don't know. Are excited, already signed up? No. Yeah, it's difficult to call exactly where it's gonna go, but we'll see. But I think it looks really good. Have I ever been infinite in Bolt Glam Loco? I know, I know. Have I ever been infinite in Hearthstone Battlegrounds? I'm sure there are some very action-packed. We don't really have to choose. We can just play them all. That's what I'm gonna do anyway. Nice. Bolt Glam Loco? I know, I know. I'm gonna do anyways. It's gonna go, but we'll see. Um, there's also this thing that we beat, which I think there's like all kinds of live games you have. You do not. Why did they suddenly start doing that? Like years ago. I don't know why. <laughs> if you can, if you wanna give him the thumbs up. Why doesn't my alien racist units operate realistically? I need my science fiction games to be realistic. We've talked about this many times. Realism is one of the European server group loco TV. You guys wanna play against me? Should we do some StarCraft Evil criteria of any game ever? Scale 1v1, let's go. Does that launch the game? One, though, at the tippity top of the list for gamers. We'll see. Bolt Glam Loco? I know. That's what I'm gonna do anyways. This is a YouTube video. But it's gonna go, but... Bolt Glam Loco? I know, I know. Um, there's also this thing that was uploaded on the StarCraft 2 subreddit, which is not really a game trailer, but this is Omni Skeptic who made like a, a half hour long video with things he would like to see changed in StarCraft 2, and this is kinda neat. Omniskeptic here with another design video, not a balance video, a design video, and let's get right into it. Video? Omniskeptic here with another design video, not a balance video, a design feedback to the player. It's cool. With the damage. Now it deals damage during the entire animation. I don't know if it looks like more damage, but he's basically got this for like. Look at this. He's got like. Using. He's got like a dozen suggestions, maybe two dozen suggestions. Isn't that sick? Hey, thank you, Thor, gifting us up to the above. Suggestions are kind of bugged right now, by the way. For those of you on suggestions, maybe two dozen what suggestions. Like real time. Isn't that sick? Hey, thank you, Thor, gifting us up to Diabali. I don't know. I'd say it's at least an like. Uh, so he's a he's a map maker. He's a he's a map maker. Uh, Omni skeptic. He's a he's a uh, Omni skeptic has made many StarCraft maps. So uh, Omni. Skeptic has made many StarCraft maps. Changed some of the values up. 
then it maintains the move. It only lasts for like, you know, a fraction of a second. So it just kind of leads the movement to feel like... Yeah, left of so you're saying that as uh, soon as like there's a debuff applied to the stalker, so in this case, concussive shells, usually, if concussive shells get applied, stalker blinks away, the concussive shell is still going to be there on the other side for however long that takes. Now he's saying that as soon as the, the stalker blinks, the concussive shell debuff is removed, so it's back up to full speed. Which I think actually makes a lot of sense too. A yeah. Bit and just uh, you know remove the concussive shell debuff of whatever fraction it has left of time uh, upon a successful blink. So this is a change that I, at least as a map maker I think has virtually no downside. And that is allowing Colossus to make him relative to the best. Yeah. I think it makes good. Not yeah, it only makes bad, good. But this is also a no-brainer, right? Being able to walk over mineral fields with a Colossus or walk over gas geysers with a Colossus, why not? And yeah, map makers uh, pleaded. Yep. And Thank you, Mickey. Um, so this is just a nice little Whoa, fix. Mickey gave six. Okay, so this is actually a really fun one. Six months. Oh man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Also, six months to P. Oh man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Does Pete really deserve your daddy, Mickey? Uh, fun fact. Uh, you have to call a craft to I feel like all of the changes that I've seen so far are very. To an you can do whatever you like. You can set a target. Yeah, you have to call a. No, you can do whatever you like. You can set a target. Do whatever you like. You can set a target. Much. Can set a target. I'm pretty sure this is just an oversight. It tends to be in the StarCraft 2 editor. I feel like all of the changes that I've seen so far are very reasonable. Honest with you. Um, this is just a nice little fix. Okay, so this is honest with you. Um, it's actually really fun. Yep. So what you're seeing right now is. Honest with you. Um, this is just a nice little fix. Okay, so this is actually. Right now, the Brooklyn's link board. Thank you, SD. Hey. means that when a Brooklyn map that actually might be in range. Yeah. But the if Starcraft you're in range, community has then so many smart people in it. Like, these are the type of videos with, like, all kinds of little quirks that I'd never really th thought about all too much. But there's, like, actually no reason for a lot of these silly little things to be in the game as the way they are. Hey, this is a really awesome one. The sea portal on top of the green huge tank, which yeah. is the closest. Like the, the immortal tank. does that so frequently. Look at this immortal over here. It like gets dropped off and it's you know, expected to hit wonders for no Thank you, by the way, again, Thord, gifting us up to Phallus. Closest by target. Thank no, I know what you're thinking. Be no, okay, no, sorry. All right. But instead of shooting at the siege tank, everybody gets a siege tank. But instead of shooting, everybody gets a siege tank. But instead of shooting at the siege tank. By target, but instead of shooting at the siege tank, look, look at the immortal here the in a second. To fire I think he got, yeah, he got a, a resub right there. Upper Marine, six, 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 that's like six, on six, six. he got, yeah, he got a, a nine, a nine year and two thirds resub right there. A 9.66666. Thank you very much. Long ass sub, dude. Thank you so much. Sword gifting a sub to bubble. Yeah, giving. So you can actually so use like Zamio as well. Giving some to to Zamio as well. You so like thank you light years away. So you can actually see in this clip stuff. You so like thank you light years away. So you can actually see in this clip. Like yeah, you the see this immortal. The unit that's dropped. The so this is the issue, right? Apparently, where the immortal is like. So you can actually see in this clip. Like yeah. The tank will it's hit derping. the unit that's dropped. The unit will get picked up, and then when I go to drop the unit again, it actually just starts beelining for the tank. It doesn't reacquire a target when it's dropped. And this creates other oh, and drop it and just keep doing damage down, which should require more. Instead of oh, add a disclaimer. You have guys like this dude, right, who just go into the editor and who just fix problems that Blizzard didn't fix. <laughs> There's like all kinds of problems, and he he has like. Two dozen fixes of things that can easily be done with just changing a few values and just making a couple minor adjustments. Yeah, actually huge. Like, the way I think a lot of StarCraft is we just kind of play and then we're like, oh, this is weird, but we learn to play around it. He basically made a, yeah, quality of life patch, basic. Thank you, Thorpe, by the way, gifting... <laughs> that, that visual bug has nothing... Echo Steel gifting one to Killer Queen? Hype Train incoming? Okay. ...do with what we're talking about and it was not caused by me, it's just something else in the game that I haven't fixed yet. Now, what you could complain... Um, oh, Leon in particular. Oh, they have turret tracking. So proud. Living in the future right here. Oh, they have turret tracking. So proud. Leon tends to be the hell of the target buff. firing. A day target firing tends to be the yeah, changes. Yeah, looks not just kind of. Dude, like a... I think for a lot of these things, right? If I understand game design just a little bit, 
for a lot of these things, the developers were just forced to release stuff, right? They're like, you know, they're not done yet, but they have to move on to whatever the next step is. And it's one of those things that you're gonna fix, but you never actually do. So they just never got around to it. And now somebody in the community is like, yo, wait a second, this is uh, stupid. There's like a deadline. Yeah, exactly. There's like a deadline and you better make it. And well, I guess we forget about the turret that we actually built on the Hellion because it doesn't really need it, but it would also be nice to have, but we're not gonna, we're not gonna bother with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Nobody will really notice. Nobody will really complain. But yeah, I've never thought about the fact that a Hellion has a turret, but it doesn't have turret tracking. Whereas all other units in the game that have a turret do have turret tracking. That's weird. Ah. Anyways, thank you, Thor, gifting us up as well to Or and to... That's weird. Big hype train. Ex yeah, exactly. I will fix it later, but later never come. comes. Visual... I mean, the Hellion suffers from all the same... Like units get up swinging turrets. Contamination on creep super case. Contamination. <laughs> Sorry, what? I've never seen anybody use contamination in the building. Technically, and suffers from all the same issues. Alien suffers from all the same issues. Yeah, the moment train, that uh, melee units get up, the moment train, that uh, stuff. So let's talk about some less impactful stuff. Still funny though. Uh, turns out you can actually use the building. Technically, yeah. Well, I've seen anybody use contamination. Yeah. Alien suffers from all the same issues. Still funny though. Uh, thing. You can use it on creep tumors. I've never once in my life. Sorry, what? <laughs> Contamination. Anything. You can use it on creep tumors. You can use it on what? sensor towers. Creep super case. Talked about some really impactful things on anything. You can use it on creep tumors. You can use it on sensor towers. Creep super case. Yeah. Creep super case. Tumors. You can use it on what? sensor towers. Creep super case. Yeah. Creep super case. It's especially weird because technically, yeah. It's especially weird because it says you can't, you know, create units. But I mean, aren't you? Creep super case. It's especially weird because it says you creep tumors. You can use it on what? sensor towers. Creep super case. It's especially weird because it says you can't, you know, create. Ah, it doesn't do judge. anything. Ah, it doesn't do anything. All right, nobody can complain about the balance of this, okay? You can no longer use contamination on cre- Oh, yeah, okay, fair. Uh, so we should get- Contaminate should you, be modified you. to- can Oh, have a so you get the, pro the, uh, the you, said, game, you get the progress bar. trust me on- You can actually- see the, I see. You can actually see right now that the progress- You see that little blue bar. That blue bar would not be there. That clip of the- This. Very- Okay, never mind. There's gonna be one person- Sorry, what? Make it easier for Zerg, which already. Uh, Sorry, what? I have just completely zoned out. For ah, right so he shift cues the overseer, and the changeling gets the as the the scout pattern goes. It goes for the sentry's hallucination. The opponent's main. So the he moves the sentry button, forward. And then just keep does like a little bit of a shift queuing over there, and then he hits the hallucination the hallucination button, and then moves the sentry back. But the hallucinated phoenix still has it. Moving the overseer. Yeah, that. no brainer. Now that you, yeah. No, you got me, man. Absolutely. Seems intuitive to me, particularly in the late game. I think it's ready. exactly. That's how uh, adept shades already work. I think so. I, the very first with every other buildings and how they wall. They need to be actively just crafting into the fucking game, too, right? Because every time I try to boot up Starcraft players, well, love... maybe being able to boot up the game is a good idea too, right? Because every time I try to boot up Starcraft, it gives me some sort of fucking bug, some sort of fucking. bug or it tries to patch the game like there's like a five minute process just to log into the fucking log into the fucking log into the fucking game no we're gonna play some games too today thort i've just uh, there's a lot of videos to watch of to rationalize their status quo but the reality of the situation like this is an eight minute many places Mineral. Like, why does that have to be a manual? Oh, it clip? has a, we need it to has modernize. a default rally. You built the main. Chat, why is there no default? Yeah, this is excellent. Click. If you of course down. it should. No, this is excellent. Click. If you of course. Down. No, this is excellent. Click. If you of course down. it should. A CC. It should try. Thank you guys for the hype train, this. by the way. Casual twenty six. A CC. It should. I. I this is very. It changes like. Thank you. Center minerals.
it's changes like these that- That's true, Red Flesh. I have also trained- myself to set rally points whenever I make an expansion. A CC. It's changes like these that- That's true, Red Flesh. I trained, by the way, casual- I, 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 minerals. It, it's changes like- Thank you. It should try to rally- Thank you guys for the hype train, by the way. Casual twice. It, it should try Thank you guys for the hype train, by the way. Center minerals. It should center minerals. It's changes like these that. That's true, Red Flesh. I am 70 years to set rally points whenever I make an. And I'll riddle again. I'll be 70 years old and I'll still automatically rally my bases, but. Players <laughs> who don't. <laughs> they Bob do. thing that. They're like, slithering. Do Why do they head bump? The Why, the Why the fuck do hiders head bump, Jeb? Why the fuck. The Why the fuck do. Do hiders head bump, Jeb? I never even thought about hiders head bumping. They're supposed to be slithering around. Why did they head bump? Makes no sense. They don't have legs. It's supposed to be a slithering, kind of like snaky creature. And uh, this is a one integer change, one value change, and we can just. Yeah, it's you less bouncy. Little... You pause to lower your volume. Whoa, 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 what? Sorry? <laughs> did he just say pause to lower the volume? Wait. Why do you. Like, you went out of your way to record. Okay. Pause to lower. Yeah, but if he's editing that, he could just lower the volume. But he did record a little audio clip saying, pause to lower the volume, which is way more effort. Anyways. I can't hear you because the thing is loud. So he's saying, chat, you can almost hear it. He's saying that the attack sound effect for the Dark Templar plays too quickly compared to when the attack actually hits. So oftentimes you get the notification that it's, it's doing its voice line as if it's attacking, but it's not actually attacking. Because you can cancel the animation before that. Yeah, the sound cue is slightly too early. It's just, it's not very good. So, uh, so I think he's going to suggest that it's actually going to be in sync. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> the volume is fine. <laughs> thing is, really See it? Game designed have, like, it's easy. Uh, so, so oh, okay. I, yeah, I've got a Coca-Cola. We had a Coca-Cola in the fridge from uh, Lauren's birthday. A half ago? Anyways. <laughs> I figured I should drink it. Sugar water, yeah. You know, again, visual feedback. Hell yeah, Thort. Thort fucking knows. Feedback. Hell yeah, Thort. Thort fucking knows. I say Laurent's birthday and he immediately knows it's May 1st. Also, did you just recognize the sound effect? Of a Coca-Cola can? Dude, the developers of Coca-Cola worked hard on that one. Damn. It's very distinct. It's full of chemicals. I rarely drink Coca-Cola. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good, though. Back changes some of the... Most so he's not suggesting a little wild addition? On the Dark Templar. So whenever the Dark Templar attacks, right now it's invisible. If it's invisible, it's hard to track. Positively received. So basically, whenever it attacks, you see this little white. Shimmer. On creep, it'll be easier to follow. Change. follow changes you could really aim for so if you're trying to buy some community love this one I think is definitely good. one i would oh, Reiner. yes if you play a lot of lab uh, if the assimilator still can stands up in the air move a bunch of hellions setting the command icon but it's all at that kind of move right over there everybody that plays starcraft Terran immediately resets the attack animation or you at the very so the hellbat isn't gonna derp um i'm gonna derp there's actually a lot of redundant clicks in StarCraft 2 that are just there because of weird units. And he's suggesting removing a bunch of quirks. And he's suggesting removing a bunch of them. Yeah, a derping overwrite. <laughs> it actually is such a good idea. Why not? There's no, like, there's no reasonable reason to have this, right? 
Like, technically, you could say that a lot of these changes would, like, lower the skill ceiling or whatever. But it's all completely irrelevant. At the pro level, everybody will already automatically do this anyway. It's going to be 1% less frustrating. <laughs> if this was Brood War, yeah, that would be a different thing. Flames yeah, exactly. It lowers the, the skill the ceiling by, like, 1% and the skill floor by, like, 10%. I think that's a very reasonable... Hell about you have to actually yes. fire to see it. Not like that to be good. To but but it's just, yeah, it's just stuff like that where like we should add some. Why does it have? <laughs> I've never even thought about it, man. Fuck. So the infestors move underground, right? And it has that for every infestor. It's however always colored in. It would only, it would make sense if it was only colorful if you actually have burrow researched. I mean, it's irrelevant. I've never even really paid attention to it. I've never thought about it, but that really does sound like an no-brainer. It should just be colorful only when you can actually make use of it. Because, like, for instance, the Infestor has a... No, you can burrow every... Up and dude, the pro gamers don't know this sort of shit. No, dude, even the pro gamers you... don't know this sort of shit. Shit at all. Shit at all. this sort of shit. Shit at all. At all. At all. No, no. If you ask a StarCraft pro gamer, how much HP does a, a Zerkling have? I can tell you that like 50% of them will get the answer wrong. It's irrelevant. This is the type of information that only really is relevant to people that haven't played the game a ton. Research which is, it. you know, not a bad thing. It's that where like we should have yeah. to make it look and current. Cast like potential. Sometimes it goes again on the same target. <laughs> Should we search for a different part. target initially. Stop the command on. Well, hit stop. Uh, yeah, yeah. People. So a lot of programmers will manually retarget with shield batteries. Allied push priority changes forever. I think it has a yeah. couple of higher end. That is that is so natural right there. It makes a lot of sense that the bio. What you see pros do a lot is they'll I, actually. I don't know. Understand how this works. Like, how does push priority work? I have no clue. I don't know how much you can really edit here and how much adjustment you really have to make, but I don't, I don't get it. But that doesn't mean that I don't think it's, a, you know, not a good idea. Actually, just pick it up in a tank and then drink up it ahead of the army. So this allows like the siege tanks to move through the bio units, which makes a lot of sense. So the fact that they're even doing that, pretty much, all they probably just yeah. be able to bio. Yes. Uh, so, so, Thor. Yeah, yeah, Thor and uh, the Siege Tank have the same priority. If you're a large unit, it looks strange if you're pretty learned, man. Sorry. Right to the large units. I have to be aware of it's ever a position. Oh, the rat is slightly hit, and there are... There aren't, like, a lot. I'm not sure, though, really not a huge... Hold up. Let's... So what exactly is the proposed fix? Few. Unless you're hold position, all the Ravagers are going in. You know, you get slightly hit, and they're all going in. So I feel like a very targeted and precise change to the acquire movement uh, for the for the rabbit. The so what's the difference here? Really noticeable has to do with siege units anyway. He didn't have them all selected. Like he he did that differently than he did the first. Time. And there aren't like a lot of those. So it's there's really not a huge when player. I am a little confused what the difference is. The control group. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The units that aren't hit will not attack. So, it's... There's really, really not this is a better? I'm not but Oracle is actually very dangerous. Protoss. I'm messing around with Oracle is actually very... This is one of those things that is so... Every game of StarCraft 2. Like, ZVP games are literally decided on how well the Oracle control is. Messing around with the Oracle is uh, a dangerous... Produced unit. Yeah. You want lines, I swear to God. So this is the me. fix? Again... Skill, but I mean, realistically, the units should not be intentionally trying to suicide. They should be trying to best. Uh, I don't think I agree with this one. Players' intention, it's mostly like because you know. it's a pretty significant buff to oracles. It does look better, but they would have to nerf the oracle stats somehow. Clearly, my intention was. Ooh. Yeah, it does increase micro ability, but there are already so many games where I see like twenty drones going down to oracles. I don't know. So basically, it doesn't change units, or it doesn't chase units that are moving away quickly, so it doesn't get dragged and well, definitely that. feel better. Though. The it does definitely feel better, though. This is definitely a buff. Hatchery to go attack a war crawler. But obviously, if you 
you do want to engage, still do it. It is definitely Again, a micro ability improvement. I make... think I would like this change if oracles weren't literally every single game, <laughs> right? Like if oracles were like a like a void ray is right now, where we like kind of see it every once in a while. If this wasn't an improvement to the void ray, I don't think I would have any issues with it. I think this would make max specs get like twenty percent more kills. Yeah, max specs would probably get twenty percent more kills with his oracles. I make a fun game here. I don't think ZVP needs any more buffs in favor of Protoss. But freaking sure. At least one thing we can all agree upon as a community is that RNG is generally Roger. bad, and we should make it so that. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> is this, did he just subtly roast the, the entire community? One thing we can all agree upon as a community is that RNG is generally Roger. bad, and. Oh no no no! I thought he said the community's ideas are pretty bad, but he's saying the community thinks RNG is pretty bad. I thought he was roasting the community's ideas. Which I, you know, it's a, it's a bold statement. And we should make it so that uh, when an SCV is building, so just to be clear, I'm not yep. more Good. consistent. Every five, bzz, 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 it's moves to another spot. Yeah, rather than a spot that's like right next to it. It will actually like always, because that is, I don't like this RNG very much. There have been games that are won or lost based off of where the SCV is producing. Uh, harkening back to the... It's fucking stuff. floaty as hell. Bro, this Phoenix is fucking fucking stuff. floaty as hell. Why is the Phoenix like tilting up and down so much? It doesn't normally do that, does it? Because the Phoenix. Look at this. I okay. try to target a particular meta. Dude, so this guy's really floaty. That doesn't. Is us that in a real game? Just all the stuff, and then if you issue a move command. This guy is on a gyro, yeah. I guess you don't notice it. Honestly, if you ask players, they will literally think that the Phoenix already has target. Phoenix is great. Phoenix, you don't really have control. This would affect PvP. Fuck that, dude. Units in a clump. Fuck. 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 That dude. Phoenixes will all enter into <laughs> no Nah, I don't think anybody's gonna be upset about Protoss versus Protoss air v air battles, but maybe. The stagger it. So maybe. The, like, sink. Uh, Phoenix versus Fe It does change PVT more so than anything else, I think, yeah. Like lifted siege tanks or a lifted cyclone or whatever. Like sometimes you have like you lift up a cyclone and then the dudes are attacking it and then the meta effect is like, I'm right here and one of the Phoenixes is like, look, I'm attacking it and then the meta effect Effect is like, I'm right here, and one of the phoenixes is like, Look, a medifec, and it starts firing the medifec. Yeah. It, it would definitely change it a little bit, but... Um, I think it would change it for the good, though. I don't think... Um, I think it's okay. Yeah, it's more of a benefit in PvT than in PvP. Uh, this is a bug fix that I think actually does have a reasonable impact on... Why is this game audio so fucking loud? Audio so... So f... So f so f fucking fucking lie. Game audio so fucking loud. Like, you dude, why does this game audio so fucking loud? Like, I love how Omni Skeptic made this entire video, and he worked on some very specific details. Right, he really trying to min max. The tiniest bit of value that you can adjust on a unit, but then for some reason in the video editor we never adjusted the value, the, the volume of the actual game. <laughs> no, it's for Zerk now too. It seems I don't know. Wait, you don't get the upgrades from a carrier when you use Neural Parasite? You don't get the plus three plus three? Is that why it's so bad? Oh, the interceptors are the things that get up.
upgraded the kit itself. So it does get the plus three armor, but it does not get the attack upgrades. Because the attack upgrades come from the carrier, or from the interceptors, not from the carrier. Yeah. You don't neural the interceptors. That's the problem. I see. Um, but I've had games where I'd like neural a whole lot of carriers and they kill nothing. This, this is, yeah, if this is actually the case, so I don't, I mean, I'm gonna assume that this is right. It's been like this since the beginning of the game. Bro, when you steal a carrier, um, so I hopefully that. Alrighty, well, I'm starting to run into things. So I was gonna say, I feel like I feel like I'm having some deja vu, or we had just a discussion about this in the past. Sort of bugs around. It's a shade. Uh, um, uh, the size storm actor model should probably uh, maybe be that's it. If you're slightly dragon. in size. I should just assume that all of the really smart things were said by you at, to to me at some point in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time I hear somebody say something clever, I'll just think of you. That's gotta be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's my pet, pet peeve that the auto turret uh, upgrade level, at least when you research it on the, on the turret. You, should you know, one of the pet peeves I have is when phoenixes lift something up and they look in the other direction, then the unit they're like, you know, they're like kind of one of those cool guys in movies that like hold their guns sideways or upside down or whatever. Why do phoenixes look in the wrong direction? They never did that in the past. Why, like, why, why did they suddenly start doing that like years ago i don't know why but they sometimes don't look at their tar but they sometimes don't look at their target you just read the github issues that only skeptic and ali keep for the bugs they found okay collected <laughs> cool guys don't look at explosions um, that's gotta be it this is a lovely video great video unlike like pretty much yeah i don't really know about the ravager one i think the ravager one is a little weird and I'm not sold on the Oracle one either, where the Oracle is just more micro because I'm a little afraid that that is going to uh, give uh, Max Packs every win in MVZ, but yeah, you can, yeah, here we go. I'll link it in the chat if you want to win PVZ, but give him the thumbs up. Why doesn't my alien racist units operate realistically? but why doesn't my alien racist units operate realistically? I need my science fiction games to be realistic, Arierto. We've talked about this many times, dude. Realism is one of the main criteria of any game ever. Should we do some StarCraft Evolution, guys?